We are live. This is The Grind for October. Now featuring the best of Singapore's startup ecosystem on a monthly basis. So we're packaging it all in a once a month extravaganza. And um, I don't know if it's uh, something to look forward to, a little bit ominous, but the table, if you can't see this, if you're watching the video, is packed with many different gifts from our sponsors who we shall introduce shortly. Um, alcoholic gifts mainly and um, well this is the grind and the grinds about entrepreneurship and the real deal on entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is brutal beautiful as I hear as well and we're gonna go we're gonna deep dive into the world of entrepreneurship and ask questions the tough questions you can't ask at conferences I think we're all fed up with conferences right in terms of panel sessions we want to yeah. hear the hard-hitting questions so this is your chance to hear them this is where it's going to happen tonight. This is what entrepreneurship is about. And we have questions submitted <coughs> by the audience with our new high-tech app, Slido. We'll talk about that in a minute. And if you go on to that, you can actually upvote the questions. So we'll talk about that. And we have a bit of um, a departure from the recent issues of The Grind. If we believe that your question, your answer is too safe, then you get a red card and hand over the mic to somebody who's brave enough to step up. <laughs> so tread carefully, guys, but don't play it too safe, right? And if we believe your answer is fucking brilliant, fucking brilliant. get it out. <laughs> it's, it, don't worry about that. That's a gold star. And a gold star basically means you achieve hall of fame in the grind you're one of the best answers we've ever heard on the grind so let's um before we sort of like before we um get into the answers maybe do a quick introduction say who's who in the studio because we've got how many of us in here <coughs> seven it's a first big thanks to barrett who's never on the the video uh, our tireless engineer Good in the background if you see smoke coming out the back of the machines there, it usually means that everything's all right. <laughs> so if he's unplugging and plugging during the show, it means that the, <coughs> the videos are usually failing. But we'll get there in the end. That's how it works here. My name's Graham Brown. Quick round, Robin. Sitting to my right. You, sir. Hi, Aaron. Aaron. Thanks for joining us. Over there, a name you're probably familiar with. Hey, hey, folks. Simon here, leaning in. Lean in, Simon, as they say. Um, Amit Gupta. I'm it. Welcome to the first of the grind. This is your first yeah, one. I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to yeah, it. You say it's a slightly nervous <laughs> smile as well. Yeah, it <laughs> sounds like a like a bit of truth and dare. Truth, truth and dare. And dare. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. startup version. Yeah. of truth and dare. And my name is Stuart Kerr. Stuart Kerr. <laughs> this is like your fourth one, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. It is exactly. This is, is just like normal for me now. He's <laughs> into the small grind. Small grind. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And over here, uh, John Tanner. John Tanner, welcome back. This Thank is you. number two. It is. It is. Mm. Thank you very much for coming back. So, no standing on ceremony. Shall we get started yeah, with sure. the grind? And uh, let's kick in with the first question. We can talk a little bit about the, the app as well, so you know how to do it. So basically, if you go to slido.com, you'll see a, a form which allows you to log into our Q&A session. So if you're watching along live on YouTube, you can go... <laughs> Slido. That's just, that's the unsqueaking of a whiskey bottle. <laughs> 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 By the Scottish <laughs> person, would you That believe? is. That's a real deal. V716. If you type that in, it'll give you access to the grind Q&A session. And you can upvote questions, ask questions. And what we'll do is we'll just start with the top question. So when you're asking a question, we've got a choice of three. So pick the best one or anyone that you want to choose from the three. Pick anybody in the room that you want to ask the question. If you're not happy with their answer, then you can give it to somebody else. If you feel they're playing it too safe, you can eliminate them, okay. right? And then the best answer then gets the privilege of asking the next question. And we archive the <coughs> one at the top. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we'll do a round robin. To those on the mics, we'll start off with an easy one. Asked by Anonymous, Anonymous Coward asks. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who that is. <laughs> I, I see that person everywhere. Yeah, no, they, get around, they get around, they get around. <laughs> But Anonymous was the first person to post before just, we got the link. I just, I, just, I, just, I just never knew their surname before. There you go. <laughs> now you know. Yeah. All right, then. So let's do this. Anonymous asks, how would you explain your business to a five-year-old? You may have already done this before, so you may have practice. How do you explain your business to a five-year-old? John, I'm going to ask you that first, and then we're going to go. I'd normally just ask one person, or one person ask one person. But for the first one, to get us started, we'll do it around Robin. 
John, explain your business to a five-year-old. A five, I'll, I'll, and I'm not a very well-developed five-year-old. You're <laughs> average five-year-old. Well, you've got to think about your audience. I think you'll be sensitive there. <laughs> uh, so I'd start with Lego, I reckon, and say, look, and I'd, I'd think about probably my child and say, you know how we play with Lego and sometimes you need help to do something that's a bit bigger or different than you've done before? I, I help other people find Lego partners to build stuff. Oh, yeah, I like mm. that. Because yeah. I do recruitment. Because I do recruitment. But they yeah. go, what the hell is and that? And then she goes, what's that? I build stuff. I like build Lego. Lego. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I like it. I think you've done very well. Thanks. Stuart, top of that. Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll, I'll assume that the... Per okay, so basically what I do is... Um, okay, so I'll assume that the kid that I'm trying to convince or um, explain has hearing loss, right? Right. So um, they've just been to the doctor and then they come back and then uh, they, they've seen the hearing aid that they have to wear and then they don't actually want to get it and they're crying and they're all upset and all that kind of stuff. They don't want to be embarrassed at school or whatever. I'll be like, look, you know the really cool glasses that you see the people on TV wearing? All the cool specs and everything like that? Would you like one of those rather than a hearing aid? Uh, and if you put these glasses on, it can make you hear as if by magic. Do you want to go for that? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Yeah. That's oh kind of how man, I would. That is good. That's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, that's basically how I would describe it. Pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it is. You got us. You got us there, mate. Yeah, mm. I like. I'm, I had I'm more detecting a tiny bit of sarcasm there. <laughs> no, I, like that. I think you've done it. If you get that on YouTube, that'll, yeah, that'll take yeah. over. That is yeah, your pitch. Good. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just extract that little sort of thirty-second segment from the video. Yeah, put it on your website. Yeah, put it on my next pitch deck, and there you go. You're away. You're done. Oh, I like that. I think that may be close to the, awarding the gold star. I think that deserves I'm, I'm, a start. I mean, it has to but step we don't know up. Yet. Man. Oh, mate, that's so much pressure. I know. I mean, How would you explain that, that to a five-year-old? I know. That was. Um, Did they buy research? Right. <laughs> He's Stuart's obviously a very sensitive guy, right? It's. Uh, <laughs> it's. Um, so this is how I'd explain it, right? If you, if you're playing Monopoly. Do five-year-olds play Monopoly? Mm. Oh, yeah. well, I think... <laughs> um, right, 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 right. John, yes. you're losing it. John did yes, say know your audience. So. <laughs> but they so, usually end up uh, crying at the end of it. But, <laughs> right, it's the, the Lego example and, and the ex what, what Stuart just said. I mean, it's, it's very hard to top. Um, uh, what, so, uh, so this I'm, is, I'm wait, getting, this is what I'm going to say. You don't need to top it. You just need to not get one of those red cards. That's all you need to do. Give me a chance. Play your natural game. This is what I'd say to a five-year-old. I know. He's putting a lot of pressure on me. I'm going to block him out. Pressure. Fresh day. This is only the first question. There's two kinds of people, son. Yeah. There's people who buy technology and there's people who sell technology. We help people who buy technology understand who to buy from, what to buy, and how much to pay for it. And people who sell technology, we help them understand who to sell to, how much to sell for, and why they want to buy from you. It's a smart five-year-old. It is, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna have to say, I think Stuart gets it. Yeah. Only because I think it was it was the easiest one to do. Yeah. Not saying you played it safe, but I liked all the answers. I'm playing it safe now with my analysis. Yeah. So, <laughs> Stuart, you get a gold star, yeah. mate. I think. Like, you're playing it safe out. by avoiding the questions <coughs> yourself. Yeah, there you go. And you Thank get to you. answer. There you go. Cool. Strong. Well, that got us. That was an easy question to get started. Can we get stickers next time so we can put it on a shirt? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think that is that's good feedback there. That's a, over to you, Stu. You're asking the next one. You yeah. have to choose who you're going to ask as well. Sure. Okay. So, let so me you get can the choose any of the top three here, and actually, people have put their names to it, so that's good. Yeah, that's right. Um, I wish I'd looked at this before. Give me a second. Ah, okay. Aaron, Aaron actually asked this one, right? Um, okay, so what do you do when your board invites you to a meeting because a disgruntled ex-employee you fired started an internet campaign against you, i.e. fake reviews, etc., and all that kind of stuff? John. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, you, because you have experience in this matter. I, I do have some experience in this matter. But, oh, um, I didn't actually know that, but yeah. No, no, there, well, there I would, we're sort of talking pre-show about some of the elements of that um, and, and Glassdoor. But it, I think any time you're called to a board meeting about a particular item, it's best you arm yourself with a solution before you get there yeah. and have hopefully taken action or assessed what actions you might take before that conversation occurs. So, um, in our case, I have got a, a direct example to uh, to speak to. So we, we actually had 
you know, we've been around for 17 years. I think we've had over 230 people work for us over that time, uh, been through the business in different parts of the world. You assume it's long enough for something funnily like enough, that to occur, right? Funnily enough, mm. not all of them were happy when they left. And Really? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you know, it, to be honest, uh, the vast majority are still really, you know, positive parts. We, we'd have this sort of, you know, elegant dismount philosophy that's, you know, you're better off staying mates and being networked and, you know, <laughs> making that work. Elegant dismount. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Explain. Uh, why leave on bad terms? No. Even if you're yeah. not happy. It's just not worth it. Oh, so, of course. Yeah. So anyway, as much as you might want to, you know, just give it not be, give, yeah, exactly. Given the bird and whatever, but <laughs> make their life difficult. Um, no, it, it usually don't. But this, this actually occurred. So we had a, a disgruntled employee in, in the US and, and it was some time after they left. It was probably eight months later and they ended up at a competitor and they decided it'd be a good idea to, to not only put on a negative review themselves, but maybe rally a few other people no oh. so it was a, a bit of a yeah but we actually said the glass dog i said like there's a bit of a thing going on here you know uh, it, this is how we advise you dealt with it so and it's really just being really responsive and giving really you know solid answers to each yeah. of those complaints straight away so don't wait can you can you actually provide feedback when people feedback yeah. you on yeah, glass yeah. You, you can say, say you know sorry that's the way you felt you know yeah. Yeah, please, please contact our hr yeah, we can yeah. maybe sort something out or but, whatever right yeah perhaps uh -huh. if you'd made you know, a point of mentioning any of those fucking things while you were here, <laughs> we, we, you know, <laughs> and not a year later, we might have been able to help you out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Is that what you put in your response? <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Uh, it was the US, my US sort of partner did that, but um, he did a good job. Uh, the reality is you, you can't stop. Yeah. You know, you're dealing with people that can be emotional. Anything could happen. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, the reality is you just have to take it front on and, and have a solution or a strategy uh, in mind and, and take all the emotion out of it. I think when you're talking about going to the extreme of someone creating a fake news site, uh, an anonymous coward uh, news site, then yeah. I think you've, you've got other legal things to, to consider as well. But yeah, yeah it, it, it's, but it's a tough situation to be in because you're very emotional about your business, right? Uh huh. Yeah. And you, you take everything personally. So, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as much as you try not to, like things can hit you emotionally very hard, right? Mm. They do. Yeah. yeah. And it takes being calm and not being emotional about it is probably the first thing. Yeah. And it's like, what is the right response here? Uh -huh. Don't feed the fire. Yeah. And yeah. what you think is the right response immediately c can be very wrong when you, never, you know, when you think yeah, back a few yeah. days later, you're like, that, oh, shit, it, I shouldn't it, have said that. It or, might you know, feel yeah. amazing when you do that. Yeah, you're like, oh, boom, burned, you know, but then... <laughs> <laughs> and literally you see a proliferation of websites and yeah, so yeah. response, not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's my answer. I like that very much. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was a good answer. Yeah, yeah, that was good. You dealt with it well. I don't know if I would have had the the diplomacy that you had in that situation. Yeah, I, same. Um, that's why I don't want to be a C, like the CEO. Like I want to hire a CEO as soon as I can because I don't want to deal with people that much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just Unfortunately, it's the business I'm in. So uh, I know exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Exactly. It was important. You done well. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, you are the better man in this situation. Well done. Uh, does he get, I, I reckon he gets, he gets a gold star. He, he does. He does. He does. does. Certainly. Yes, well, I think e so. Everybody's a winner. Yeah. Man. Come on. Everybody gets a gold a star. Winner. Everybody gets you a gold star. You know, that's, 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 that's true, though. You've got to let people win all the sometimes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. they've got to learn. It's a little bit brutal sometimes. Yeah. Well. yeah people, absolutely. People are getting eliminated, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we no. do have these. So. You see that you we're, just, we're just kind of warming people up here. They say, you know, that if you're, you know, uh, like playing a game with somebody that's like much worse than you, it's good to let them win like 20 or 30 percent of the time because the whole point is that you've got to uh be the type of person that people still want to play with. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Uh huh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why you, you two have got gold stars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the only reason I got a gold star. So, well done, Stu. <laughs> well done, you get a gold star. <laughs> Very good sitting, Stu. Well yeah. done, you're a gold star. So, have yeah. one's podcast. It is, it is. We're just dogs at the end of the day. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Well, you know what that means, John, is that you're very diplomatic answer wins the 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 right, the right to, to ask, ask, the ask you question. and grill the next yeah, person right. and you can choose which question you want to ask i need to see those questions depends on how good your eyesight there is there we go because i can't see anything at this stage <laughs> <laughs> all right so you can choose any of those three that are up there <laughs> that's pretty funny um well this will be easy for some uh what keeps you up at night talk about it in an accent <laughs> other, other than the a one you own, accent, a different time. accent. Yeah, 
Who you without asking? being totally racist about it. <laughs> <laughs> In that sense, not racist, surely. Nah, it's not. It's a sign of unless empathy. You're, unless empathy, you're calling empathy, out cultural yeah. empathy. Yeah. Yeah, I've learned that if you can do it really well, then the people who ha actually have that accent are like, oh, that's amazing, do it again, do it again. But you, <laughs> but you're a little bit special. You have that ability to do that. It is his superpower. It is. Actually, well, we have two linguists in the in the studio tonight. So linguists. Cunning linguists. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, John, it's over to you, mate. Me? I ask a question. Yeah, who, yeah. So who? Um... <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to give him a star this quickly. Again, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't want two stars for goodness sake. Go on, you've got to do it. Oh, oh look course. at this. Well, what's going on here? There's a little bit of a cartel going on, isn't it? Just, <laughs> let's just do the show between us two. <laughs> look after what are you each other. About? It's your let's show. It. <laughs> All right. Over to you, Stu. I was practicing an English accent the other day, uh, uh, earlier, earlier today. So me and my new employee were basically doing English accents to each other for like half of the whole day. <laughs> you did answer the question. I, I, I didn't play it. I was just threatening. The first, the, oh, okay, the okay, first okay. part of the question is what's keeping you up at night? Yeah, exactly. Not practicing English accents. Accent. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Come on. This is, what the grind, this is what the grind is about, Steve. We want to know what keeps entrepreneurs up at night. Yeah. Um. Well, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> um, so basically, right, so uh, <laughs> I get up at night and I go for a pee and I sit there and I think, oh my God, <laughs> what happens if the money runs out and we don't have any new investors? What happens then? I'm going to need to fire my employee. I'm go <laughs> what the, what the, this, is, I, this is good. English I, too I, close I, to I, Scottish. Is, no, it is not. <laughs> that is, that is Your a good neighbors. Um Yeah, but cash flow was the thing I was going to guess you were going to say. Yeah, I know. But then, uh, yeah. So I do have like two or three other worries, but I can't talk about them until they're finished. That's Oi. the only thing. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong. <laughs> He's done a good job with the accent, I think. Yeah. Props for that. He did. Yeah. yeah. Honesty. But is, is your employee watching? He is, yeah, yeah, because I sent him the link. Well, I mean, I don't know if he is actually watching or not. I mean, he, I mean he's probably busy working now. or, you know, living his life after work. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a pretty <laughs> shit answer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, who, who would have thought cash flow would be bothering yes. an entrepreneur? But <clears throat> there you yeah, go. the accent was solid. The accent was solid. Okay. It's down to you, John. It's down, what do you want to do with that? Um, maybe we should ask Amit the same question. Yeah, yeah, good. I can answer that question, but I'm not very good at accents. I mean, I already have one. Well, <laughs> well the hilarity is of watching you, you try. You, you do and you don't. <laughs> you have to yeah. do it in That's where accent. the merit is. Um, <laughs> do it in a Scottish accent, please. So, can you nominate so the accent? I, I grew up in Liverpool, believe it or not, and I used to sound oh, scar, so I wish I could remember that. It's like, Liverpool. Not, no, <laughs> not working Wednesdays. Uh, can't, can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> that, that, that was convincing. That, that, that up was up. close enough. <laughs> yeah. Your accent will keep me up at night. The, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, no, man. It's just, uh, for me, it's honest answer. It's, I actually sleep really well. <laughs> I actually oh, really oh, sleep. Oh, no, I, I no, do. No. I do. Oh, I I'm not trying to be it. safe. I sleep I well. I don't want to hear it. I, I, you know what? I raised well. too much capital. Uh, but I, yeah. I mean, I'm not too much yeah, capital. I mean, he's but, doing but, well but, enough. But, you know that he can go and get breakfast at the, you yeah, know, like the yeah, sofa yeah, tail. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah, last couple, the last couple of months, the last couple of months have been tough. And and I think my team knows that I actually am not sleeping well because I come in, I do come in early, but they can. They know I'm not going to the gym. You're at the Sofitel Hotel having breakfast. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do those Here's things for event. business. That's where Sales. people turn out. Hustle. Um, no, it's um, for us, it's, for me, it's the new platform. You know? You, 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 the it's, <laughs> yeah. It's, by the way, it's going, it's going live. Today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get in. Get in. Um, so, yeah, no, it does, that does keep me up. It does. I, I, I think about what's it going to look like? Is it all going to work? Is it going to crash when people open the app? Because we're trying to do something that's so different. Um, so, yeah, that's really it. Is that what kept me up last night? Um, yeah, actually it did. Because yeah. I was, I, the, the, the tech team was working around the clock for the last few days. And um, I think my last phone call was at half past one. And then I was checking emails and messages and responding at 5 a.m. in the morning. 
Is, it, is this your sort of second go live? Is, what's yeah, so this is, so we had the beta in yep. Feb. You were there, John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And launch? then, mm. and then, so this is the full version, but I like to call it the full version 1.0. Because I think we've got a one dot. What the hell? That's a safe so release. it's not a beta; it's like an actual release. release. Um, you know, mate, that's how things turn out, right? <laughs> you, you 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 think you're gonna get it all done straight away, and then um, then nope. <laughs> then you realize you got to break it up into release one and release two. Um, well, so, so yeah, yeah, because you can't like publicly throw your entire launch just like at the wall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh shit, it doesn't work. <laughs> what's the, what's the URL? Can we crash it tonight? Yeah, it's uh, ecosystem360.com. It, Good. Yeah, I've got people in the rem- Philippines. Rem- let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's get it on. <laughs> let's, let's test this. Let's get it on we Upwork. spell ecosystem the right way without the E. Right. It's, I've always it, wondered about that. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure what it is about Kiwis, right? Because I had water the other day. It was naked water. It didn't have an E. So it was N-A-K-D. And that just validated that we Kiwis just dropped the E. But you got an E at the beginning. We got the E at the beginning, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, we would drop the spare one, right? It's not. It's not. It's redundant. You don't need it, right? It's yeah, we're no. all about convenience. Make it easy. Make it simple. It's totally easy. I didn't copyright. Yeah. I didn't actually notice that because I completely read it as ecosystem three sixty. You know, well, like it, it is ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not ecosystem. It's, it's, it's the first and the last <laughs> you, letter, isn't it? Did you? It's not ecosystem. Sure. Did, did you? <laughs> did you? Ha- did you enjoy the beers? The it was. It was very beers, nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, sponsored by yeah ecosystem without the E. That's right. <laughs> Without the second E. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm actually really enjoying this. So the, what, the what, malt. I, what I do here? <laughs> yeah, right. Is, I, I don't know that stars are are warranted. No, yeah, I, for I, either. Yeah. I think there is a good uh, effort on the accent, but cash flow is yeah, yeah but yeah. accent but is right not a star are, material, is it? It's no, not. Really. A lo- I mean, you want the whole package. I don't it's, think it's got to be complete. Alone. Is that, you know. can't just. You can't blag it because, like, right now things are going. Okay, until like maybe yeah. next month, and then I'll, yeah. I don't know. But you couldn't raise like half a million just with an accent. That's the point that you're saying. Like, the accent's not enough. You've got to give the whole package. Yeah. In your answer. Yes. Mm. Possibly so. <laughs> so, and, and I think Armit actually got to a good answer in the end about his release, but no accent. So, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, yeah, it's we're already not. there, the accent. You have got a Nazi there accent. There is an <laughs> accent. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the question did say, in an accent. So well, technically um, we're both right. So whether I did an English <laughs> accent or not, or my own no, accent, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, Mate, it was, it was, it's a two-part question. Like no stars. It was teamwork. Yeah. It's either. No, no, no stars. It's not how it works. He got the accent. He got the accent. Can we, accent. Can got can got we either answer. between us not get a red card or between us get a gold star? Uh, horse trading. Can we share What we can do is rip up a star, rip up a red card, and bifurcate them. And you can have one. Bifurcate them. I have not had a star in a long time. No one's given me a star. So I mean, like, you know how we... A safe star. A safe star. Is there such a thing? A safe star? <laughs> half a star, half well, a star. John, you have to decide. It's a star. John, it's down to you Can, now. You, you have to. No you, stars, <laughs> not safe. Oh. He's a tough guy. <laughs> can we not get one star between us and I can move like, on? Cut oh. it. Move on. Okay. Well, yeah. what's the, what, we're, we're at a Mexican impasse here. We are. How we are, we are a standoff, is, yeah. right? Well, maybe you get to ask another question. I can do that. Or maybe you're just kind of milking it. Without an accent. <laughs> Yeah, then you have to ask the next question in an that accent. accent of yours. Get all the questions I don't want to answer out of the way. Yeah, well, there you go. Right. That's a that's a really good idea, actually. Mm. Can we Wish get I John to ask a question in, in an accent? Yeah, that, that yeah, has exactly. John. If, if you're not gonna if you're not gonna deliver an <laughs> answer, you have to ask the next one in an accent. Tasmanian accent, no, which is not Australian. All right, there you go. Go for it. Maybe you can nominate the accent. Oh, mm. How do you deal with the investor that uh, says yes and that gives you the slow no? <laughs> what, what the hell was that, John? <laughs> what, what, that wasn't f- a good French accent. Oh, was it French? Yeah. Oh, was it, oh, it was French. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Mate, I think that was really I good. Was a, I thought it was a bit of Tamil in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but do you agree? Not really. <laughs> no. Did, it, no. did it not sell Tamil? I thought it was None of that. Tamil. <laughs> well, yeah. Sri Lanka was colonized five times, and I think the yeah. French were, you know. Well, they That's were, plenty. Yeah, <laughs> something to do with it. All right, John. Go. So someone had to answer the question. You have so to nominate. Come yeah. on. You, you know, it's going to be you. <laughs> Slow no. Slow yeah, no. How do you deal with it? You've How do you deal with it? Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's the right answer, but you uh, get pissed off. <laughs> 
And then yeah. you say like, so well, I didn't want them you anyway. You don't deal with it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that's how I did. The question was, how do I deal with it? Not how does everyone deal with it? Unless it was a collective. Is it, is it, is it, but is it how do you deal with it as an answer? Or is it how did you deal with it? I, I think it was how do you deal what, with what it? What do you want it to be, John? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think what you're talking about is how you didn't deal with it. But how would you deal with it now? How would I deal with it now? Yeah. Now that I'm older and wiser. Yeah, useful as well. Oh, d- well, d- you know, water off a duck's back, mate. Don't give a f- <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, how, how, no, let me answer I the question. I don't buy it. Let me buy it. Well, now that you've changed the question, let me answer that, it. That actually was the question. Well, was it? <laughs> how, how would I deal with it now? You didn't. You couldn't tell because you thought I was French. <laughs> yeah, that was the problem. Come on, there's a bit of an accent. Yeah. Couldn't understand so you because, because of your accent. <laughs> <laughs> I think that get to the get to the no. The, yeah. not the, that's what I've learned is that um, a lot of people making promises. Yeah. Yeah. You know, get to the no. I'd rather have a no than a maybe. How do you force that? How do you get to the end point? Yes or no. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's the, that's how you force it in some way or another. Look. Yes or no. But I think with investors, you've got to be tactful. I'm, yeah. I'm not, my, my problem is I'm not very tactful. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a wee bit the same. I'm not very good at that thing. Yeah. Yeah. This Look, whole people thing I was talking about before. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But you raised funds. So have, have you raised, yeah, you've raised funds? Yeah. Ask me tomorrow. Oh, there you look at it. Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but, yeah, the slow no, I think, is is like a, an it's awful torture. thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's I don't a, know. It's uh, a cop out, really. It is, and I think it's it's not just investment, but a whole. Uh, you know, if, if you're putting yourself out there a lot, whether you're raising investment or you're sort of in in a business like this where you, you you're talking to a lot of partners and media and so on, is there's a lot of slow no's out there. A lot of people want to be involved. Well, so we, we see that a lot with well deals. Yeah. Everyone gets slow yeah. no's on deals. Yeah. Um, we see it in hiring, right? So people won't. They don't want to say no. Yeah. Clients and sometimes consultants and, you know, they don't want to give you, even candidates don't want to give you the bad news. So how do you deal with it? You, you got, you got to, you got to get after them. Really? You just got to say, you let them off the hook and say, look, probably get the feeling here that. Yeah. This isn't going going with instinct there. Yeah. It's kind of like, look, I I feel this ain't working. Yeah. You haven't turned our last 20 calls it's been six months. <laughs> 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 yeah, especially the ones between like midnight and 4am you, you, know, you, <laughs> you didn't let me in your house <laughs> you, you unfollowed me on facebook <laughs> i came all the way to your house that, with chocolates and flowers and that, you didn't answer the door that sort of thing like, yeah, yeah. yeah the lights went off in the house as soon as i arrived <laughs> so your answer though is a fairly brutal yes or no but is yeah. it, what's what's the preamble I think you've got to, I mean, the only way to deal with it really is to get, you know, rather than, I'm also a great believer that you've got to not put the decision in other people's, like, worlds, if that makes sense. You've got to kind of like, you know, if you if you constantly rely on other people making decisions about your life and your business, you'll, you'll end up frustrated and, and stressed. So you've, you've got to, rather than wait for somebody to make a decision, you've got to go out and try and get another decision somewhere else. Yeah. Put yourself out there. Yeah, That's exactly. what I'm trying to learn how to do better, right? You know, it's like rather than wait for somebody to do something, go out and find another option. Yeah. Mm. It, that you've got to do it. Rather, yeah, I mean, it's a really sensible stressful. thing, but it can be torture to do that sometimes, yeah. well, can't it? But I'll tell you what, though, the only time you're aware of a slow no is if you've only got one option. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, 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 you've yeah. got to have a pipeline. So, yeah, if you've yeah, got yeah, another option, you'll have that, or then, you know, then I can't If you've only got one, you're screwed. Yeah. Absolutely. You're in trouble, right? Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It's like if you're hanging on one deal, you're already fucked. Yeah, the, exactly. Don't get into that situation. So avoid that. In anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, even... Well, I won't go there. <laughs> you know was... what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it I was a bit I like... Know, a... I'm sure I don't. You do. You, you can read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm worried that I can. <laughs> right. Um, I think I was a gold star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <before>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is your microphone. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to force your hand. John, no. do you want to give him a gold star? Uh, yeah. I think he wants one. I do want one, but I think he I'll probably, probably, he probably I deserves one. I, I, I don't want to be like you know, Molly <laughs> I think I think for the fact you no, eventually okay, got there and you can save the whole system. Yeah, and thanks. this is your studio. You get one. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and you did print out the stars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how much work that was? Come on, I had to Google. Where'd you stars. find the gold? It's mate. It, that is what they call fiat currency. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Fun, fungible tokens. Fungible tokens. We'll come yeah. to that later. All right. Okay. So let me ask a question because I'm ready to give. I'm ready to give out a two safe red card. So just 
be mindful of that because these guys in the corner are, all, are chomping at the bit they, to get. They're coming the off the bench are, with heat. They are. They are. Sixty fifth minute. Here we go. Right over to the questions. Let me see. Right. Um, yeah, I can see some tough ones in there. What do you think will be your original hustle, e.g. Sem selling lemonade, before blockchain took over your life, before you became an AI-enabled <laughs> startup? What were before you Before we put heating aids on the blockchain. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Before, <laughs> when you're running around uh, in your nappy, what were you doing for money? What did you think? Well, uh, Will be your original what hustle. What do you think? Well, I think that's just a, a grammar thing. Yeah, that's, I was just gonna... let, let me rephrase that. What is your original hustle, Amit? <sighs> don't don't say data analytics. Really. <laughs> no, no. Before that was even a word. <laughs> um, you want the true answer? Well, you yeah. Can, you can give, give me the answer uh, that you feel. I, I was twenty three when it, when I built an ERP product. I was hustling that. I was trying to get. I um, didn't think enough people would buy it, so I um, convinced a friend who was his family owned one of the largest automotive component companies and said, you know, you're looking to buy Barn. At that point, Barn existed. This is going back when, you know, you had SAP Barn and MFG Pro that did ERPs for manufacturing. Two of those companies are, aren't there anymore. SAP still is. Um, and I said, why don't I do this for you? And then we do it as a joint venture. And we take it out to the market because you've got... I was 23. I said, mm. you know, you've got the domain expertise because, you know, you're from that sector. You've got a great MBA. I've got the technology stuff, right? It's and a big hustle it. when you're 23. Yeah, yeah, no, I did that. And I convinced him. So we, we signed a joint venture and uh, went and did a, um, and went and sold it to a whole bunch of um, um, auto component manufacturers. Uh, so uh, I, I like this answer. However, just to make it a little bit more difficult, I want to, you were 23. Yeah. I want to move that back Take 10 back years. Back when you were five. 13. <laughs> teenage hustle. Yeah, so uh, that's what it should have been, your teenage hustle. Oh, mate, teenage hustle. Uh, true story again. You weren't selling uh, to SAP. I, 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 <laughs> no, no, mate. Um, <laughs> just um, just a break break from uni and um, did some event sales. Well, 13. Oh, 13. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that shit, was mate. I was thinking 18. Not your PhD. No. Uh. <laughs> before you knew it, look, oh, Amit, mate. before you knew about the world, when, when like, us lot were just selling lemonade and shit, <laughs> like, what were you doing? It's a bit spoiled. You've been spoiled? <laughs> oh. Um, uh, no, I was, in, I was in boarding school. Boarding school. Yeah. Were you hustling? Um, true story. So we got we got these true story yeah hashtag we got do not do not tell anyone this no 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 no, no, no one's no, no one's listening to this right no one's watching don't worry just between us just between the six of us don't worry about it and and Barrett um, so we had um, we used to get these we we literally had checkbooks in school right we used to get a checkbook right and you had it had the nomination on it and you had to sign on it and give it checkbook yeah we got we got some printed. Outside, no, they weren't real checkbooks. Oh, so they weren't, yeah, they yeah, weren't yeah. micro-printed checkbooks. This is a, this they is were a good hustle. So, so, so we went and <laughs> so me and a couple of mates. You're we, about fraud. We, you should we have grown up in the states. You would have made a fortune. We went and printed a few, right? And then we just went and used them. And we went to the tuck shop and the cafeteria, and we used to just get stuff from there. And, oh, when wow. we, and we sold those checks to other people at a discounted amount. Oh, like yeah. that, so forgery oh, like, was your side hustle or oh, first hustle? That's I learned, I was I learned actually, a lesson. I was, I was I learned, ready to give you that, but I'm, I'm impressed. I, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. So I did go and tell my dad about it. I said, I, um, I did this. He said, I'm in. Because I had to because we got so, caught. So how much we did got you make, son? <laughs> and the headmaster. 50K. The headmaster. The, the headmaster. Give me 20% and I'll write you into the police. The headmaster did call my dad, so I had to go and tell him. Um. I don't think I told him. I think I just had to explain to him. And he explained to when me. Asked. He said, you know what? Mate, that's not the way you do things. And I was like, well, I thought it was, you know, it was just being clever. It was technically, yeah. Yeah. it wasn't it's the way of the world. I yeah. mean, I had a fear, really. Fear, it is clever. Fear, yeah. Yeah. But, but also it led to your, your second hustle, which was ripping off SAP. <laughs> 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 Later on, uh, <laughs> I tell you what, you do have to give it to SAP because they're the only ones who've survived. They're still around, right? Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. still around, and and they're doing really well, right? I mean, well, uh, MFG Pro, Barn. I mean, these companies didn't exist; they don't exist anymore. Yeah, but they killed it. 
I was ready to give you a red card, but you, you really you flew out of that. You did, yeah. Was, yeah. Did I get a gold well, star for that? I don't know. Well, it might be in between. I basically let out you can have the worst secret. He, I ever he, he forged uh, checks at school. Forged <laughs> checks. But then because you forged checks, I don't know if that was bullshit or not. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in brackets. must be validated by... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could call my headmaster. He's 92. We well, you know he's, he's right on the line <laughs> right now. Just came on Skype. No, I like the answer, um, but I'm not convinced. I'll, I'll have to give it to Cause, somebody else. Because you can't, you, you can't believe I would have done that, right? Because that's not me. I can see. Well, I can see. Grand it is line. you. It is you. <laughs> That's what worries me. So uh, no, I do like it. I oh, like mate, it. We've all done. We've done. Uh, we've all done our bits, right? We've done our bit. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all we've learned all our lessons. Our I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. What do you mean? Um, John, I, I want to ask you. Fortune checks. No, I like <laughs> now, now the bar has been set quite high. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Uh, what, what will it you take for hustle? your business to displace the largest <laughs> company? Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. What was your original hustle, many, John? <laughs> you sang a lemonade? 13. We're not talking about, don't give me like, oh, you know, I came out of university and I was like selling to whatever. Give me the 13, 13, year, old, 13 year old John in Tasmania. 13 year old? Yeah. Life is tough back then. <laughs> yeah. That's options, why your options hustling. were limited. No, well, that's, that takes a creative man yeah. to. I think I probably wanted to be a professional BMX rider. And, uh, that, that didn't, was never going to work out. Right. I, I didn't even have a BMX when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's problem. problem number one. <laughs> I yeah. looked at them. <laughs> you looked at them. That, that does not qualify that as looks a professional. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I can make money out of that. Uh, it's just what was happening when I was 13, right? You know, yeah, BMX happening? bandits. Yeah. You, know, you get yourself a little mongoose, a red line, or a the, what, you're diamond mentioned. back. This guy over here was making, he was like <laughs> cutting checks. I mean, forgery, we're into that as well. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 all we he did was, was crea forge. He was creating another line of currency. We, we just found tickets you know, at the news agents they were using at the local show. We used those. That was, yeah. you know, that was a little scam, but, you know, forgery. That was <laughs> long. Different level. Different oh, level. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to have to give it to Amit. I think I might actually give him Amit a star. Amit it. Yeah. He oh, mate. Thank oh, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Amit. Sure. Oh, I think that was a good answer. Can I, can I get a picture of that? Because yeah. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Yeah, man. Go for it. There you go. <laughs> right, there you go. Uh, there you the go. award Uncle ceremony. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Just before you get arrested. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the border mate. when you next go home. It's like you know what? I haven't named the mates who actually did it with me. Right. right. So... So if you write them I'm in, then they can let you go. So are you going to name them now? No. no you I'm can take it to another level. Uh -huh. Yeah. They know who they are. Yeah. <laughs> they I'm going to make sure they listen <laughs> to this. <laughs> I like it. Name the sport. I like you, Amit. Oh, yeah, I like your style. Yeah. That's why you get a gold star. Oh, love that. Well played. There do you go, well do played. I get a picture? Uh, <laughs> yeah, can well, I take a picture already? Can you done the photo. All right, oh, another you, picture. I mean, you get to ask the next question. Oh, do I? I, I think you should be ruthless as well because we we want to eliminate people. Give oh, people, there you go. Give I can, people a bathroom. I can stick but... it there. I can stick my star there. Mm -hmm. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's magnetic. It's well earned. Yeah. There's a story behind that star. <laughs> All right. Well, choose. I, I do have to ask that. I mean, it might not be very relevant to the audience, but demonstrate how good you are. John oh, Tanner. Oh, that's at the bottom. That's for oh, John. Yeah. That's for John Tanner. But it's only the top three. That these are the ones being upvoted by. The oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> all right. Well, that's the next question. Any of the three? Uh, Any of the three at the top? Oh, I wish I could ask answer that question myself. The, the one. Yeah, that's not part of the game. No, it's just that's my answer. Don't I get. I would love now to you want a gold that. star. Don't get carried away. What will it take for your business to displace the largest company in your field? I have to ask John Tanner, because I do know the largest companies in this field. Hmm. Unfortunately, so do I. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think the, the thing that would enable me to displace uh, the Shrek firms. Yep. Um, what is Shrek firm? Oh, you should, you should expand on that. I'll Just, expand on that. I so understand that. I understand what he's saying. A, there's a big five executive search firms. Right. Right. <coughs> they are all generalists. They've all been around a long time. It's Spencer Stewart, Hydric and Struggles, Russell Reynolds, Egon Zener, and Corn Ferry. Ah, uh, Shrek. Yeah, Shrek. Mm -hmm. so Never heard of any of those. Somebody was waiting. Yeah, okay. I've now been interviewing a lot of executive search acronym. people lately, trying to hire them, and they told me about that. Uh -huh. So anyway, but it, it seems appropriate. All I need them to do for me to disrupt them is for them not to change because they are very large, very generalist, and they reflect. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I'm not talking about you. Don't get nervous. Threatening, it's like, just just go. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so for for me, uh, to be disruptive, you know, you're relying on things to stay the same somewhere. So you've got an opportunity to disrupt. So for us, we have to continue to be more specialised, you know, aggressive, grow fast, and for them not to catch on, basically. They're trying to catch on, but they're too fucking old and slow. Oh, I like that bit. I was going to give you a red car, but that too fucking old and slow is like yeah, telling that, it as that, it is. I just got to make sure I don't get too fucking old and slow before yeah. it happens. <laughs> well, mm. exactly. I mean, let Amit be the judge of that. <laughs> well, um, I think you can do better than that, John. Because, <laughs> you know, you, 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 put it on me. You, got, you, guys, you guys do some interesting stuff. You yeah. can do better than that. Come on. Yeah. Well, I was trying to neaten it up and <laughs> make it concise. Yeah, but you know where he comes from, you know. Yeah, well, we could take advantage of democratizing services by, you know, creating a network. No, I'm talking about fucking <laughs> writing, oh, writing, writing checks, mate. <laughs> writing, well, faking checks. Yeah, we can fake a lot of checks. I could hire a lot of people. Didn't fake checks, he democratized checks. <laughs> That'd so be this, awesome. This is what you do. You you know, I, I give an honest answer yeah. and I get I get grilled for it. No, yeah, yeah. It's like, it was hey, a good answer. It's, and it's I mean, a good I mean, answer I mean, and we're going to remind you. Well, you've won respect. You've got you've got you got a star for me, mate. I learned... Never to fake checks after that. Yeah. Or never well, to talk good. about it. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't even use checks anymore. Yeah. Who uses checks? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got an American business, obviously. They use the shit out of them over there. Well, um, they, they print them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, we, we opened a bank account. Our first bank account in San Francisco was with Silicon Valley. It wasn't, no, it was with <coughs> New Resource Bank in San Francisco, Progressive Bank. And we said, right, we're opening a business here. Uh, can we have a bank account? Yes, here we'll set you up. Here you go. Here are all your checkbooks. You know, what, what you do don't know what books? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I, oh, fair enough. Use checks like here. Cool. We we're actually in Australia, and this is a you know a branch. So it'd be good if we could just you know make some transfers from time to time. And how do we make that happen? They said, no problem. We've got internet banking. So what you do is you go online, you fill in this form. And that sends us a note, and we cut a check, and we put it in the mail. <laughs> oh, right, God. this is <laughs> fucking San Francisco in <laughs> 2008. Uh, it's not like uh, they 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 have innovation or anything there. Right? <laughs> can, 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 I, I, uh, can I just share a story? Yeah, since you we're talking be about banks, with your story, by yeah, yeah, no, you, it's no, either it's, a star story uh, or a too uh, safe mate, story. True, true story. True story. So, um, I used to have a, so I have another company where I had had a bank account with one of the global banks in Singapore. Went to them, called the relationship manager, said, yeah, you know what? It takes two weeks. We'll get it done in a week. I was like, all right, that's fine. And this is when I was waiting for our PE funds money to come in, right? There was a deadline. I was like, all right, we got four weeks for that. So um, I wait two weeks, no bank account. So I called them. I was like, oh, we're working on it. You know, it just takes a bit of time. I was like, okay. And then suddenly they said, um, you know, normally it takes four weeks. We were trying to do it in two weeks for you. I said, no, but the last time you said it was two weeks and you were trying to do it in a week. Um, and then I said, okay. And I thought it was really hard to open a bank account. So I lived with it, came to four weeks. And I said, well, it's four weeks now. So you're not doing me any favors now because you said it's four weeks, right? Um, didn't get the bank account open. I have to say this because I, I, I really want to share this. Go for it. So... I moved, when I moved to Singapore from New Zealand, one of my colleagues said to me, he said, uh, I said, oh, where should I open my bank account? He said, I'll go to UOB, I'll take you there, I've got a bank account there. I said, why is that? He said, well, DBS always has a long queue. Um, and it's true, it's probably a very popular bank, right? So I went to UOB, opened my bank account there. And then, so when I was trying to open my company account, I went to UOB, and because I got frustrated with this global bank, walked into my UOB bank branch at 80 Raffles Place, I said to them, I said, I need to open a bank account because my money was hitting two days later. The last thing I wanted to do was forget the slow nose from the investor. The last thing I wanted to do was to say, give give an excuse to the investor to say, well, you haven't got a bank account, so we can't put the money in there. Um, so I said, I need to open a bank account. And they're like, okay. And I said, here's my, I have a personal account and everything. Mate, 30 minutes flat. The yeah, a bank account, 30 minutes. A, a, bus- a business account? Or a UOB, business account, 30 minutes. Because yeah. for a business account, what do they need? KYC, right? Yeah. They had that all my yeah, KYC. Yeah. So, did, so did the other global bank. I'm not going to name them, right? DBS. <laughs> no, no, they're global. 
Oh, it's just, it's just Global Bank. <laughs> it's definitely not Bank of Singapore. I have to tell no. Of course no. not. Look, yes, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to I'm gonna have to stop you there. I can't believe we spent five minutes listening to you oh. talking about opening a fucking bank account. And we haven't mentioned <laughs> well, the Bank was, of Singapore once. Exactly. But I was engrossed the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I was like that. Yeah. So no. what happened when you walked into your bank? <laughs> 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 Mate, they opened it in 30 minutes. Oh, I had, oh, listen. They I, gave me a card, right? Yeah. I could, and that was it. And yeah. the money came in, and it was all good. Yeah, you've just got a two safe. I'm afraid. Uh, I didn't. Di- l- 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 Wait, l- I wasn't l- answering the question. question. He asked the question. Ask question. <laughs> you asked the question. I asked well, let's get back to John. <laughs> no, no. What was the question? <laughs> it was. It, it was. It was that easy with us with DBS I'm as well. It. Like it took us 30 minutes to open a bank account. We're with not DBS. talking about opening bank accounts on this podcast. <laughs> it is, well, it actually, is one of the shittiest experiences I, in uh, Singapore if you're a, if you're an entrepreneur or sitting. What was the question? Oh, mate, DBS. I was about. I have to. I have to agree with. Let's do it. Hmm? I mean, uh, sorry, wait. Right, 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 normal yeah. bank account. So DBS right. is good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh-huh. No, yeah, I, yeah. I, I... <laughs> let, 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 <laughs> get back to the microphone. <laughs> no, no, no. He has awarded you a red card. You're off, mate. <laughs> oh. Time, time for a cigarette. Give, oh. give the man a break. It's it. Fail. Does it's this gold star not count as the like, gold star? Merit points? I didn't answer a question. I was just trying to be generous. Nice. <laughs> you, you're asking, uh, I think you're asking the question. as well. The smokers won a little bit. Tell you what, and they'll be back. Next. Let, let's Simon, Simon's been chomping at the bit. Therefore, I think he, Aaron, he's needs, been, is it, Aaron needs his boy as well. He's um. Stay here and you can share my mic. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, come back. You, you can jump, yeah, jump, yeah, jump on our one. Jump on our one. Good, all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought, I, thought oh, I was giving you an opportunity. You said you said you wanted to go for a smoke break. You did. Oh. oh. Uh, you've, yeah. got, you've got a beer, you've yeah. got cigarettes, you've got a gold star. What that could life possibly is good. go wrong? Life I was giving, I was giving you a, a, giving you a, setting you up oh. there. Oh. I'm, I'm walking up with Aaron. Yeah, yeah, go. All right, man. Hey, we'll, we'll see you back. Give, give Simon ten minutes to shine. If not, we'll boot him off. Ten minutes. Oh, that's good whiskey. Yeah. Ah, that's good whiskey, indeed. That, that's your brownie point. <laughs> I think, oh, under, under strict instructions from Bank of Singapore not to promote DBS or UOB. I'm not going to talk about <laughs> opening a bank account. No, no. Well, you know what happens if you do. Done. All right. John, it's over Done. to you. John, I feel Back like the show is very much centered around you tonight. <laughs> is it because well, I'm sitting closest to the technology? <laughs> 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 yeah, you can see all the questions in advance. You're like, like messaging people. Well, I think it's maybe because you haven't hit the whiskey before everybody else. Yeah, well, kudos to you. All right, John, over to you. I need to see some questions. Yeah, let's get some no questions. No question, there we go. Mm. You can ask me my own questions. Look at that. Uh, there you go. <laughs> they are, right. They yours. I better, <laughs> better not do that. Um, interesting. They're all interesting, John. Mm. That's why they're top questions. Yeah. Top questions. I, I'm going to have to ask you one of your own, I think, the way it's oh, going. Okay. That, the third one, I, I can't get my head around. But <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you know when it's time to shutter your business? This is a very... A very unfortunate question, isn't it? You know, you just keep going for far too long. Have you done it before? I've quit my own business. Is that what shut your business? Qu- it's means? not quite the same thing. No, so it's not. No, Emotionally, I'll, it has I'll, to be similar. the question, Simon. How Come is it? Okay. So, so I'll answer your own question. To be fair, he did ask me two different questions, so I'm going to give myself a two two say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you know when it's? T- I feel like I'm being manipulated. <laughs> <laughs> You can always throw this one away. Ah, yeah. well, he just got on. I'm just not too safe, but there should be a so big manipulated you know, card. You know when it's time to shutter it because you can feel it already. And you're just, you're stringing yourself along. You're telling yourself either lies or you're deceiving yourself. But you know when it's time to shut your business. You, you've got to be honest with yourself that it's going on too long. You can see that the money's doing that or the happiness is doing that or the interest is doing that. Mm. But we very rarely admit to ourselves that it's time to move on it's weird like it's like that thing in a relationship where you know that it's past its sell by date and you really need to break up but you just don't have the balls to break up with the person you've got to do this. you're same. lagging it you are you're, you're basically you're just waiting for somebody to do it for you you've got to do it sooner who's going to do it for you? you've got to do it yourself have you how but you said like it's, it's... So I quit my business because I couldn't shutter it because it had other investors. So I just... Wa- I love the sound of the whiskey pouring in the background. <laughs> I, I basically... Kind of qu- sets the tone. <laughs> it does. But quitting your own business is a very weird thing to do because you walk out on something that you put your heart and soul into and then you look at it later and it's like, it's very strange. It's a very surreal experience. Is, is the business so you quit still around? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And very successful as well. And I have... That's yours. No hard feelings is about it. it. 
sorry. So we're just having an off off camera right. conversation about can whiskey. I, can I bring I this back to the point? I don't know it's time to shatter your business with whiskeys. Well, that was a <coughs> lot of whiskey going on in there. I'm impressed. Um, so so in, in in going back to the analogy, Hi. you you let go of the girlfriend uh, that it took you a while to let go of, and then you saw her walking down the street and she looked a million bucks and uh, That's with, how it works, with another right? bloke. So. What what was the reason that triggered your exit? I didn't want this is this is this is an eternal question that I keep giving on this show. I didn't want to scale the business. I was doing so it was an advertising agency mm. and I one of the reasons I got involved in it was because I really wanted to change the way that advertising worked and we sold that business and you know, I'm very pleased for the guys that founded the, the global business that they got the payout for that. But the reason that I got into it is that I wanted to change the way that advertising worked and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to do that. So I realized that there were fifty people that I'd employed in Singapore as part of that agency and my commitment was more to them than to the founders, much as I love the founders. Um and I realized that that wasn't quite right. So I, I had to walk away from something because I couldn't deliver what the business needed because of the emotional mm. commitment that I made to those people. So in, in terms of if you're giving someone advice, um, other than gut feel, mm. you know it's wrong. If you were to break down the elements, so you've got... I think the bit that I, I had a post-it note before I started that was, it, it was scribbled in pencil on a post-it note. It was the worst possible thing, but it said it's not about the money. And as soon as it became only about the money, I knew that I'd broken the promise I'd made to myself when I started it. Yeah. Um, it was it was really fucking painful when you've got all that money in front so of you. So how do you measure the non-monetary stuff? Because it's not binary so much, is it? Well, no, you kind of know yourself, don't you? Yeah, right? it's 100% yeah. subjective. You know the yeah. reasons why. Did you start it because you didn't want a boss anymore? Did you start it because you wanted to change the world? You'll know the reasons why you really started a business. And most of the time, it's not to become a trillionaire it's not on its own. One. Yeah. If it's to become a trillionaire on your own and you're not doing banking, you're doing it wrong basically unless you're an investor you're not going to make it rich overnight so you've got to do something different so be very very clear at the beginning why you started the business and as soon as you deviate from that you've got to ask whether it's still what you wanted to do yep good call. simple as that good call we're getting the, we're getting the scots <laughs> people making funny oh, he's getting the protein shake the oh, the off camera dude you want to mix <coughs> a protein shake with a mccallum i know it's an interesting well thing. i mean ah. it's better than mixing the mccallum with pizza i disagree well, so do I, but <laughs> John, protein shake aside, that, that <laughs> question, that's quite a tough one, isn't it? What's your take on it, John? Well, my take, uh, I haven't shuttered a business, but I've shuttered part of a business and a team. That qualifies. Yeah. And it's, um, and it was, you know, it's part of the mothership. Um, so there are people involved and it wasn't necessarily, we didn't hard shutter it, but we just stopped supporting it. Mm. And, um, it, it, it had been massively successful in growth, but not so much in profit. Um, mm. and, and it was just a model that, you know, became apparent that was going to be hard to support in the way that it was situated. Um, so that was, that was, uh, challenging. But I think you've always got to come back to that. Does it, is profit the only reason you're doing certain things? And I think it's very easy to get caught in that cycle. Very that everything much. must be yeah. crazy and profitable. Yeah. And profit's a survival part, isn't it? Well, yeah. it was, well, not <coughs> let, let's, let's strip that back. It was survival. <laughs> so we, we, we burn, we burn over okay. a million bucks, yeah, that's um, not profit, you know, that's pain. In, in the red and, um, in a short period of time. And it was like, well, million in the red. Yeah. I more than a million. Uh -oh. So it was like, you know, in a year and it was like, uh, this is, this is going to be terminal for the business if we don't make some significant changes. How, how did you get a million into the red? Um, basically we were funding growth and it was, Really awesome. No, but how did you physically get a million into the red? I mean, how did the... Oh, like look, we, Michael. we'd previously had profit, right? So we burnt that. I'm just saying we had a red year right. that was over a million bucks. But Salaries we, and... Yeah. I mean, and, and we built, like you build ahead of time. So you go, we're going to hire up an yeah, MD, yeah, yeah, VPs, yeah. a customer oh. success leader, a, a client services director, all those things around this thing because we're going to keep growing and eventually it's going to tip over and, and we're probably treating it more like a a software company than a services company. Yeah. So you can sell those dreams, but yeah. if you're in a services company, you, you cannot, and you've been in one, <laughs> you've built one, so you know, you, you, it just doesn't work that way. So it's it just So when you were a million in the red, was it a million in the red in the sense that you were a million in the red on the, the bank statement? We lost or? more than a million dollars that year. Right, oh, okay. Net. Yeah. From the group. On your p &L. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so painful. It, it, yeah. <laughs> that that physically hurt. No yeah. shit. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that hurt a lot. And it's like you know, we we'd never extracted a lot of money from the business. It was yeah. always about growing the business, so it was like reinvested. And so that sapped up a lot of upside, and and then some more, and then 
you know, yeah, we, man, if it's if it's if it's causing you to lose limbs, you've got to chop them off. You got to you got to, and and it wasn't an aggressive move. It was just, what's the natural? Where are uh-huh. we winning and where are we losing? Yeah. And we'll just focus on where we're winning, and the rest just fell away. And that that does lead to some glass door <laughs> outcomes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's unavoidable, right? Yeah. But in the long yeah. term, it's good to focus on something rather than trying to keep spreading yourself too thin when yeah. you're growing, right? Yeah, it's one of our greatest flaws was that we were really excitable and creative and we want to do more and more yeah. interesting and disrupt ourselves and disrupt the market and you end up with multiple but d- d- models. Don't they say like the most, the, uh, statistically, you're most likely to go out of business the year after your most successful sales? Hmm. You, you take know. your eye off the ball. Yeah, you get carried yeah. away. I mean, you know, maybe that's... Exuberance. I think one of the main reasons for that... Yeah. One oh, of the yeah. main reasons for that as well is you're so busy delivering. You don't do any marketing and yeah, pipeline. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's so or you easy. don't notice it's your competition place. actually beginning spinning to spinning catch place. up. Yeah, exactly. yeah that, that as well. I mean, yeah, that yeah. That's yeah, definitely an yeah. Evidence I mean, in engineering, right? I mean, like in products and all that kind of stuff, it only takes like nine to 12 months to really do a very, very good job at catching up with a competitor. Right. It doesn't take that long. Yeah. Does that mean like if one person, you know what I mean? Like if one company does a phone that's got this awesome feature and like, oh shit, we need to do that. Nine months later, it could be on the market, reliable enough. Yeah. 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 It doesn't take that long, you know? That is scary. And it yeah. moves fast. It does move Because you hear really about fast. these stories about, you know, Companies being outdated by competition, but it happens yeah. to us as well. But in a longer time frame, I think. Yeah. I think in a business like yours, Stuart, where you're you're providing real value to communities and to individuals, I think it's yeah. it's at mm. that point where you, as a business and as a group of people that are involved in that business, you make a decision between is this a a massive profit making scheme, or if we won, you know, if we only broke even but made this many people's lives better, and that's that's the bit that really freaks me out is you as an individual and as a group of people that run that business, you've got to decide what success looks like. And it's far too easy to just well, say it's profit because it's not. Well, yeah, well, uh, I'm going to shamelessly say that it's exactly 50-50 of both, right? Um, I, <laughs> I want I want my company to help as many people as possible who 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 found finding a solution for hearing loss just completely ridiculous or outrageous yeah. or too expensive. But I want to make a lot of profit. Totally. So that but the reason is that I want to make a lot of profit is so that we can actually put it back into research yeah, and yeah, awesome yeah, yeah. new tech. You have tech. to make money to yeah, help people, it's not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the key yeah, point. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it's not a private jet. It's so that, that. like, we can, like, we can be, you know, like, put the money back into employees, better this, better that, and actually mm. give, uh, put a ch- massive chunk of money into R&D. Well, they, um, you, working at Dyson has really kind of been a wee bit of an inspiration there because, like, they do that very, very well. They're an insanely profitable private company. And they just pump. I mean, like he's got a private jet and all that, right? I mean, like, <laughs> but that's but that's well, like ten percent, ten percent other people, right? Ten percent of Dyson's profit or something like that goes into the private jet. Goes into the private jet, <laughs> and 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 then the yeah, rest right. goes into R and D and all that kind of we're, stuff. We're on um, it, mate. We're doing. It. We get there. Yeah, it's really cool to see that, and you see it happen. It's like those. I mean, I mean. That you walk into a Dyson lab and it's like, how much money do they spend on but, R&D? But it's, amazing. They've, they've it's amazing, it's amazing to see them pumping it all back in. And I think that's the important um, bit is they know what the money's yeah. for. It's not yeah. money for the sake of... I mean, it, if you look at it in the organic world, right, a, a, any animal that gets too fat either dies from the fact that it can't chase down food or it gets eaten itself because it's too slow. And I think what's really interesting about that is the profit that you're generating there gets reinvested. So it's all muscle. It gets reinvested back into growing the yeah, mission of the business. Yeah, yeah. It's not fat. Yeah, no. and and I also think that the future of not for profit is probably profit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was that was so it was spinning dark that around there. Yeah, but it's it's more like you know if you look at um, and there's some examples I think around, but it, it Amazon. Is, <laughs> well, that was not for profit Amazon's for a long yeah, time. For the yeah. Amazon's a bit of a different listeners. case. Like they yeah. seem to have a bad reputation for not reinvesting he it in the business. He does have a private jet, though, but he has a spaceship. Yeah, but if you consider how how little a private jet costs in comparison to the value of the company, and just because Jess, uh, Jeff, but uh, Jess, just because Mr. Bezos has has a net worth of that amount, doesn't mean he's got that much in cash. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily I, mean that. There's a lot cash of pa- that paper. he's taking into his bank account. A lot yeah. of investing work. in his yeah. stuff. I was probably more thinking There's about something. He's doing all right, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like, think he's struggling. Richest person in the world is probably not struggling for cash. He's, right. he's really <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> 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 yeah, totally, man. <laughs> what yeah. went wrong, Jeff? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Get him on the Where show. did you lose sight of what's yeah. important? Ask yeah, him the yeah. next question. Yeah. I was thinking more about, Yeah, I think what are models for sustaining social good? And, you know, you can use an example like The Guardian, who've been around for a hundred and 10 years, uh, whatever they have, and that's a not for profit technically. 
Um, yeah. But they've found ways to regenerate mm. their around their mission, whether yeah, you yeah. agree with their mission or not. They have created a, f a structure around that Scott Trust to reinvigorate yeah. and grow. It. I think that's that's the whole thing is that you know there's an awful lot of corporate wankery around at the moment around things like brand purpose and doing. Yeah, do you know what? Yeah. As long as you know in your own heart why yeah. you're doing it and other people believe in that mission, it doesn't matter whether you're making. A yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's fine. Like, yeah, you know, massive. You know, but I mean, if you talk about brand purpose, you can go to Enron's old. Corporate yeah. HQ, and they have like a big brand statement, a brand mission statement in the the lobby. Enron, yeah. you know, like we were here to yeah. enrich people's lives. Can you still go there? Is it like a museum yeah. place? Yeah, well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> True. How to right, not well, fuck who up. was asking the question? It was uh, John. Was, was it you, John. So how do you John, know when to shut the business? What was the question? Yeah. What was the question? Yeah. How when do you, when, when do you, you know when it's business? time to shut the business? Uh, yeah. When you've so lost your purpose, I just think. Keep sight of the question. There we go. Right. Getting back to the heart of it. When you've lost touch with your purpose right so when no, no, no no john the no, heart of it was whether or not that was a good question or a good answer good answer or good was it a safe <laughs> answer or a gold star? I, can't, I can't i can't really judge the question because i just had to read it <laughs> we're not just the question that's not what we're here to do <laughs> whoever, right. answered, whoever answered the question you have to judge them as too safe or god star uh, or, or, or in between therefore hand it over to somebody else I'm actually going to give that in between, only because he uh, created the question. the question. Yeah, it was too easy. And it was a bit easy. You yeah. got splinters up your ass, mate. Sitting on the fence. Well, not really, mate. I can, I can <laughs> give you a red card. Taxi. If you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, for being facetious. <laughs> yeah, correct. Uh, no, I can't. You own this show. Um, so. <laughs> I, don't, well, I, don't own, I don't own this yeah. conversation. Whatever Graham wants. <laughs> no, I'm, not, really. I'm, not, I'm not a king. It's very egalitarian. You know, it is. It is. Yeah. I, I believe in... Holacracy, as t Tony Shea from Zappo say, well, the flat, flat, flat structures. How's that working for him? I'd love to know what. The well, let's get him on the show. That's a really good question. It is next question. It is. So, John, where are you with that? Are you I'm, I'm normally, I'm, I am normative on it. I think it was actually quite a good answer. Uh, it was an honest answer. Um, but get to the butt. So I won't say it's safe. I won't say it's a gold star. So you have to find some. It's a marker, I'm telling you. Yeah, so you it has, to, it has yeah. to move on to Graham to ask a no, question. No, no, not necessarily me. Um, it's John to decide, right? He, he has a choice of me or Stuart. Well, how about um, I throw the same question to you. What was the question? Because how do you know when it's time to shutter a business? Because yeah. I think you've actually... Shuttered a business. Yeah. Shuttered and, a business and then, close a business. And then what right? I'll do is I'll make a call between the two. Oh, oh fuck. Savage. Oh. So... And I'll make you, a hard call. Well, I'm not going to repeat what you said, Simon. Simon, your, your question was, it's not about the money. It's about the purpose. Yeah, I'm going to say it's about the money. Mm. Yeah. If you're not making it, if you're like struggling Fuck to stay alive, purpose. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the example. Let's talk, talk us through when you shut up the business. <laughs> when I ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> So he, did you choose to shutter it or did it just happen around you? <laughs> well, I shuttered it because I didn't have any money. <laughs> yeah, when you run out of money, there's no uh, other choice. I, I, yeah. I, yeah, totally. I, it doesn't doesn't mean you have to close the business, though, because you can still go and work for Grab or deliver pizzas and keep the actual business open. Just make sure that you file your AGM and then the business still exists. Mm, true. Is that right? You can keep well, it going. Officially, as long keep, yeah, as you've it's not... not necessarily you the don't time have to, to kill the, the business. The business. No, you because, what yeah, you do if you run out of money? No, no, not, not no, unless no. you're technically, you technically bankrupt. Don't. Did you really, yeah. did you well, hang on, hang on. Unless you're bankrupt, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, a business can remain open, make no, no, zero no, no. profit, bank zero revenue, so zero spending. No, no, right? businesses don't go bankrupt. Individuals go bankrupt. Mm. Okay, businesses okay. Go this is a 11. bit more of a philosophical twist. <laughs> well, it's not philosophical; it's an accounting. Twist. If you're unable, but to even then, right? Okay, so even then, if if you if you feel that your heart's out of it, why can't you keep the business going by getting you a replacement for you, and you're still a major shareholder, and then you can get somebody that does give a crap about profit if you run you can, out of money yeah. but if you're unable to fulfill your financial obligations and pay your suppliers and whatever you're insolvent else, your credit and then you're insolvent oh yeah, yeah uh -huh. but if you become insolvent then but technically that, legally sorry that's you your fiduciary responsibility is to shut it down it's, it's too call, close to the company I'm yeah. going to call it and say you don't make a decision somebody makes it for you so well, you haven't you know, really made that decision you've not well you asked me at what point do you shut a business? You're being quite stubborn about it. Yeah. No, you asked me, at what point do you shut a business? You shut a business. Well, Graham, when you what, what, what you I'm asking. technically insolvent. When what, I, what I'm asking now is, did you shut the business or did you shut it around you? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, John, that's a moot point. Ooh. <laughs> I have shuttered a business before. I, I, I've built a very successful business and I shuttered a very <laughs> successful business. You shuttered it when you sold it to some other company. <laughs> well, I sold it to a partner. Partner. This is ah, okay, okay, okay. That's different. <laughs> yeah. That's different. But yeah. then he, 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 
that was did the fact shut, that did he shatter it up? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he later shattered it was was purely down to him. Was that a validation of your decision to validation of my decision to go and travel the world for yeah. six years? That sounds a little bit like one of the questions Neville was asking earlier. What's that? When you say that when you, when you give it to somebody else and they shut it down straight away afterwards. So he was saying if Satya Nadella calls you up, oh, buys yeah, your business yeah, yeah. and then closes it the day after, would it bother you? There were no. some other little well, details in that question. There were, but yeah. I like paraphrase If he afterwards. paid you five <laughs> times more than the company was going to be worth in five years' time. <laughs> yeah, I think there were fairly compelling economic reasons. I would that tell you. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I think yeah, you've got to be a... not about profit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. You, you've got to be a mug to... Like not take the money because if, the thing is it's not yeah. about because yeah, you can use that, that money to do some other really absolutely. freaking cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely. five other if things. I, if I could, right, I mean, if I could get this one hearing aid to be a success, yeah. you could just sell some, get some revenue, sell it to Johnson and Johnson, sell it to Sonova, whoever. Right, if I can do that, I'll do it, and then I can um, use that Private money somewhere jet. else. Private other cool jet, things. Mate. No, actually put it into something <laughs> else. <laughs> Keep saving the world. Private jet costs a lot of money to maintain. <laughs> And I don't want to be that dick that flies around in a private jet. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, they, they don't always end up there well. Air Asia, mate. Air Asia. I'm mildly yeah. concerned about you warning around with scissors here. Can you put yeah. those down? You're freaking Actually, me. Well, he's, he's waiting for the question about opening a beer. Without I a don't know. Problem. The thing is, John, let's get get back on point. Who asked the question? And did they deserve I asked it? the question. We had two answers. Oh, yeah. Actually, you're milking it. I am. Well, he's, he's, he's carried on for a good half an hour. Half, that I mean, this is the longest question. Are you happy with the answers? Or you want to? I think they're both very honest. I'm probably. I know, think I'm going to give you a two. So given given given, look, given the comparison, I'm actually going back to the person who invented safe. the question. Invented the question. Thanks, yeah. John. No, no, no. Uh, right. He, next question. So so Simon gets to ask the question. Yeah. Simon, um, you choose. I'm going to ask this to Aaron, who needs to find a microphone. No, wait, no, no, Aaron's not in yet. He until, is until, no. Until, no, no, until it's somebody, been an, but so somebody gets eliminated. Oh. Aaron's, Aaron's happy sitting there. Aaron's he, chill. He, he's chill. Right. He's just chilling and enjoying. Let me <laughs> choose. Let's give Alan, so Alan McAllen. Give him. McAllen, me. McAllen. Alan McAllen. Oh. <laughs> and he's happy. Uh, and meet your Scottish ancestors, I do McAllen. feel. Can I just say, <laughs> yeah. we just went live on a new platform. Hey, I thought well, you meant we just went live on the podcast. We've been talking for an hour and 15 minutes and we haven't been live. 75 minutes. <laughs> what, been what are we doing? We're just talking shit for the last hour. It's got a preamble. <laughs> right. Good for you. Oh, it can't uh, be reached. Well, the real, Dude. well you know what? When somebody Dude. gets... Oh, no. The what, 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 segue what, of all time. What's going on there? Can't be reached. <gasps> That's not your site, is it? It's supposed I mean, to be. Well, we're not live, don't we? Don't worry, we're not publishing. <laughs> oh, God. Question. Question. You just go live you know and I your think? website is inaccessible <laughs> live in a podcast. <laughs> what do you do next? I, I, <laughs> your microphone. <laughs> we drove so much traffic from the grind to your You're website. We crashed it. And we, right, crashed so it. we may have crashed it. We may have crashed it. I think we did collectively. That was the intent. <coughs> Simon. I, I'm torn between one and three here. You've got to make a decision. You've given the best answer of the evening, I, so you have to I deliver. do like the idea of getting somebody to demonstrate how to tie a tie, but it's a little bit of a corporate indulgence. Let's go with you and about 20 of your co-workers. I don't get this one. Can you move your uh, protein shake for me, Stu? Thank you. <sighs> Can't see shit. <laughs> for the benefit of the podcast listeners, Stuart has left his... Anyway, what's the most, <laughs> what's the best, most tactful way? No, it's moved. What? You and about 20 of your co workers are sitting in a crowded conference room. How would you gracefully exclude co workers from meetings, emails, and projects? This is a savage one, but is a daily reality in startup world. I'm going to ask that to Graham. Right. So basically, the question is asking. You want to exclude somebody from the conversation, yeah. But you're aware of the fact that if you do that publicly, you're a bit of a dick. Yeah. How do you do it? Why am I a dick if I do it publicly? Because it's not very sensitive, empathetic. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sociopaths um, wouldn't understand, but <clears throat> we're gonna have a meeting, and you're not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right? I, do you know what? Uh, I bet you most people. Are, ah, thank God, I can't be. Yeah. Asked I think at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's How, no there's no two what, safe there. There's only a star in front what, of me. I don't I don't get Sorry, to join. What, I've never a long meeting. What so we wrong? That was brilliant. What no, it's just like wrong? fuck you. You're not welcome here. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Is, is that wrong? No, it's the, it's a very straight answer. It's is not it? right or wrong. It's your answer. <laughs> 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 I'm good, I'm, I'm, That's how I do it. No, 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 I'm with you. 
we're having a meeting and you're not invited. It's, yes, not, it's I can't, so I can't be bothered. So is that the context? One person there, there is may, sitting outside the There may the well room. be a hashtag me too following that, but I really? hear you. Do you think I'm setting myself up for oh, later dude, issues? That's blunt. Glass door. Yeah, there's glass door. Possibly sure. a non-elegant dismount. It's a very... <laughs> there's sloppy no seconds going out of that escort. Yeah, <laughs> messy. I don't like the sound of that. No, uh, exactly. That, that's how I do it. Exactly. Yeah. But then I think I'm a little bit socially dysfunctional, so... You're binary. Did you hear the, you, the pause yeah. after that? Everybody decided <laughs> you are to though. say anything. But, <laughs> yeah. but that's fine. Most is it? It is a known thing that most people that have an entrepreneurial streak are deficient in at least one of the vitamin social graces. So you are a no bullshit kind of person, though. I mean, you're. I mean, but, you say exactly what you're yeah, thinking. And you I, don't care about the consequences, type of thing. And who me or yeah. generally? Do you know? What? I think yeah. a lot of people. <laughs> I don't care about the consequences. If you dress no, it up, no, because I mean, the consequences are probably you know like people think you might be a bit of a dick or something. Yeah, you, but, well, but you're the boss. Not that you've come across uh, as a dick, but you seem like the type of person. It's like I'll say the truth, whether people think I'm a dick yeah. or not. Like, right. you seem that, you know, like don't dress it up. Right? That, it's the thing. They say I do have a diplomatic side. You do. I do struggle with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably you're either completely one or the other. Yeah. Binary. Everybody I, is somewhere uh, in between. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that shit an experience for everyone. Surely <laughs> What's you, that? Well, surely if there's one person who doesn't need to be in a meeting with everyone else. HR yeah, expert. Like Either you're, you're, avoiding, you're avoiding something uh, yeah. that you haven't already confronted. So if, you, if you're going to, you know, it, it's like, <laughs> if why would one, pe well, it's their birthday and we're going to give them a cake and a present. Yeah. Or, but you know what it's like when you're in, you're uh, in that group where you're all peers and everybody else is in yeah, there, but you're that. not, you know shit's that's gone wrong. Yep, I don't care. But that, that you're bit, out. Simon, that bit where you're all peers. Yeah. That's I mean, the bit what? where you're all peers. And then? Well, that's the bit. That's, the, that's, that's where the problem happens, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not following your answer. Well, there. the fact that you set it up as that you're all peers, therefore you have an obligation to them. No, yeah. sorry, I re rewind that. When when everybody else that is a peer of yours gets together for a meeting which you're not invited right. to, you know shit's gone wrong somewhere. Or they're going to get you a birthday cake. I'll give <coughs> you an idea. Chances right? are. Or you get a birthday cake. <laughs> I mean, it's. Happy. I mean, it's like uh, I used to work at a large company, which you might know the name of. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. no, yeah. Do they make fans um, of vacuum cleaners? Uh. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the deal a lot no, with no, moving you. No, it was no, just no, on. Don't bother. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, it's fine. Okay, but this, but the question this I'm happens. Is, why can't anybody fix the bloody washroom dryers? Have you got a Dyson mm. one in there? Well, there you go. Right. Stuart. Then Stuart. I Stuart. can okay. answer that don't for you. Deviate. Buy Stuart. the Dyson one. Stuart. It is back. freaking awesome. Stu, back. Yeah. Back to your answer. Oh, okay. Don't deviate. Keep on point. Um... No, I can't remember what that was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Okay, so uh, there was like once or twice and it caused a stir, right? I had a complaint against me for this, right? <laughs> about a, what? Uh, a middle manager complained about me because I, in the middle of a meeting, said uh, 15 minutes into a 90-minute meeting, I realized that I didn't need to be there. I thought yeah. this just is a no, like is a I was like, a, send me the minutes. Just the yeah, tell yeah, me yeah. what you decide yeah, 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 so yeah. that I can spend my 90 minutes doing something productive that right? is massively fucking important yeah and uh, oh. I, I i i stood up and did that and uh uh anything that, like you know like, i did it quite politely i said like look yeah, i don't think right, i need to be here anymore polite, how do you do that politely that's, right, okay, so that's here's how i did I don't it get. Uh, so like there was a bit of a silence like before they were going on to, so like as one topic had ended and they were about to say okay so next thing we need to talk about i said excuse me you know uh, uh, i don't think i need to be here anymore because i've already kind of discussed anything if anyone wants to ask my question just let me know right. um can you, you know but you'll be sending a meeting minutes later right so if you can just email me yeah. what you're going to email then that's fine i don't think i need to be here because i've got other things they need to do if you don't mind i'll just leave um, I um, see what it did as you do? Did you I up, see did it. Did you get up and drop the mic? And uh, <laughs> yeah. So as I was doing that, I was folding my laptop up and packing up my stuff, and I was just left. Right. It's like, but it's like the perception is. I mean, like if you just change the perspective, it's like, how dare you expect twenty two people yeah. to yeah. sit yeah. in a meeting right. for ninety minutes? Like, who the fuck are you? As, especially when the hidden me? agenda was, how do we make you know you more sensitive to our. <laughs> agenda. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, How do we build our uh, electric car? 90, 90 minutes of gets you more empathetic. I don't yeah. think I need to be here by. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no. no, I mean, it really wasn't like but that. I mean, you but, and, that and, wasn't just Dyson, that was any company. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's any company that's above a it's, certain amount of this people. This is a massive... It's just a normal thing. I mean, it's not even a company. It's just like there's, the there's employees many, also... Yeah. There's, like, too, there's many too many people many in a meeting. Of, too much ass yeah, covering. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, yeah, like, I mean, it's like a middle manager problem and the employees usually don't have the courage to go, I don't need to be here, excuse me. But you called it. I like that answer. I like that answer too. Are you still a warning? Are you warning? A warning? That's a still... I'm going to give you... I didn't ask the question. here, mate. You're hard to convince. I, uh, excuse me, it's my question, Mark. Nothing's well, well, good enough for you. Sorry, you I thought it was still yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've lost track, my friend. Oh, I have lost track. Too many I'm, drinks. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on that time bottle of McCallum I, I, I will. I'll throw it out there. That, 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 that gets a start. It does, because well, if I had a star... It's not your question to award. But I'm just throwing it out. We can throw stars out. We want consensus. We want energy. We want Barak's taking the whiskey away. Right, um, I'm giving a star to Stu for that. That's good. Right. I don't John had already given a star. I don't physically have so? stars, but I mean, you can have more than one star. He did. No, yeah. I think you called it first. Called and Simon it. just kind of like backed it up. Well, you you went at me. I did, yeah. But you <laughs> rose. Right, can, can you two? <laughs> I'm a victim. Can you two chill the fuck out? <laughs> <laughs> Stu, question. Can I get my star, please? Already, it's a piece of paper. No, no, just no, just no, give me a star. No, it costs you no, nothing. No. You've already printed them. Just don't. give me them. It's, I mean, it's only. <sighs> it's, no, 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 it's ceremonial. You went to a lot of travel. To <laughs> John and me those. are deciding Barra, who Barra awards them. the star. Kill the mic. John, did John award the star or Simon award the star? I awarded it. Simon awarded. But I don't have any stars. I made a recommendation. You basically de-risked it for Simon to award. De-risked. No, I'm yeah, giving maybe him. Maybe I did. I'm giving him two. Maybe. I don't think he gives a shit what I think. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree, nah. but he's too far away. What was the result? Going. What was the result? He got a star. He got a star. Next you question got, from Stu Barrett. Bring the, up the questions. The teacher right. turn off Graham's mic. Star. Yeah, I need my star first. Ah. All right, Stu, you're asking the Go question. Stu, questions on the screen. Oh, nice. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that was painful. Oh, table leg here. Ah, uh, I mean the the like that part of the knee that really hurts. The funny knee. Yeah. Oh, you give him a star. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. passing one over. Stu, question. At the end of the day, Get that's why we're here. Yeah, give him a star. God, ah, the poor okay. people listening in on the show. Hey, oh, two no, stars. I'm sorry for them. There are people actually watching, so good for you. Thank you for dropping it on the grind this evening. Thanks for oh. My dad was watching because he randomly sent me a message saying, like, hey, can I have a whiskey too? And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. man. Hey, she's yeah, Mr. Kerr. That's yes. cool. Mr. Kerr. Let's, uh, Mr. Kerr. Salute Robert. Mr. Kerr. Yeah, Robert Kerr. <laughs> Rob, uh, Robbie Kerr. Robbie. Rob. Robbie. <laughs> well, based on the stats that Barrett's just put up, all 8,500 people are tuned into the show right now. Yeah, 8,500 of them. <laughs> Stu, question. Yeah, the middle the, one. They're actually oh, cra Simon crashing again. ecosystems website. <laughs> got better I did. Uh, I did it find that was up. Uh, I did find that was upvoting your questions quite a lot. Thank like, you. They're quite good ones, I think. Um, oh come on! What's the best in brackets most tactful way to f to tell a fellow startup owner? Uh, oh, I've moved. Uh, that they need to take a break or invest time in their mental health. Um, Graham, I'm going to put that to you for some reason. I don't know why. A fellow startup, therefore not me. Because you've had a fellow start You've got to advise right? somebody else. Yeah, how to take but, a break. I mean, break. it's all hypothetical anyway, right? You need to take a break. <laughs> and focus on your mental health. Yeah, focus on your mental health. <laughs> Graham all is... Right. Fuck it. What? Graham is down with the crumbs John? tonight. <laughs> Chromatic right. answers. Uh, John, like, you? Well, it, it's hard to be tactful. Because how, I mean, how can you bet that? You I can. can. Well, then we why ask him? Well, let me try. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would say you, you can't I've tactfully do it because entrepreneurs... Aren't very subtle. We're, we're optimists. That's they're, the problem. They're John. fucking tenacious, optimistic, optimistic, resilient. Oh, too oh. safe. Oh. Uh, no, I haven't finished yet. Oh. But, oh. but but I do remember that we had ideas about relaxation from the first time we got together. Bean bags. It's like, why don't you go and take yourself <laughs> off to an isolation tank? Oh, oh yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. And, and I think that is the tactful way to do it. Yeah. Which is my response to the question. As opposed to but the well, I think that was a little bit of a safe around. response, don't you? I mean, uh -huh. you, you it's literally a safe Too with safe. water. Yeah, I'm safe. I'm, I'm safe. Oh, I'm, I'm out. Safe. Yeah. Done. Done, mate. Oh, mate. Aaron oh. Chang. Oh. So, so brutal. 65 minute substitute, please. Right. Brutal. Okay. No. Right, okay, so because I've got two stars and I need to go to the toilet, right? So well, then we've got two. Oh, yeah. On air. Stuart, yeah. Stuart, what air? Amit, you take Stuart's seat. I uh, thought you were going to sit here. Amit takes Stuart to the toilet for a moment. Give the man a bathroom break. Yeah. Chill. All this whiskey. <laughs> it's taking the whiskey to That's the toilet right. over here. For the benefit of those on the podcast, there has been a quantity of scotch being consumed on today's yeah, show. It's yeah. been quite impressive. I thought you were going to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, was that him? No, he's just taking the bottle. I'll get back in a minute. Aaron Chang, welcome to the show. Oh, yeah. 
I feel John sitting so off my. So, for the benefit of those who are not tuned in live on the video, Aaron has been sitting around very patiently waiting for everybody else to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, Aaron, there's no cost in what you have to say. There's, I, no, there's no commitment. You can say what you like without any cost on, on mic, off good. mic. You have to you have to commit. Yeah, now I can really. You can. I, I do. Well, that worries me. I do feel really guilty about trying to squeeze into John's seat there. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, John. Well, I don't think so. Go I think on, the no. guilt will last about five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's gone. Zoom. Yeah. And it's then, gone. It, <laughs> and, 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 listen, look, in front of John, there is a pile of two safe cards. So <laughs> just, and there's also yeah, a bottle of McCallum. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I'm not talking about banks anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, oh, by the way, <laughs> Bank of Singapore. Bank of Singapore. So what happened with the last question? Whose was that? That was um, Stuart's, but Stuart's left the room. Yeah. So, so, so Aaron, you take over. Or no, do you want to answer? Or do you want to ask? I, I rather ask. Let <laughs> ask. I rather ask. Aaron, 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 right, yeah, Aaron's asking. I, I have to say, Aaron, Aaron has been very gracious in bringing in sponsors into the show. Very Bank good. of Singapore and Qatar Airways. Hashtag Qatar oh. loves SG. <laughs> Zoom. He's been very good in, in, in hooking us up with sponsors. So, Aaron, He's you get to ask the next question. Well. You, there's a choice of three questions to put to the, the table tonight. I, I thought the first question was really... Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. So, there you go. Oh, I like it. Go. Read it out. Which one are you going to go for? Uh, I have to read all three first. Let's go, man. I'm a very slow reader right now. Should we do a bit of um, background music whilst you're talking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what are you drinking over there tonight? I'm so? having a Craig Ellicky. That's a wee whiskey here. If a you, uh, Craig Ellicky. Do you want to bring that up, Barrett? There you go. This is a very charming space no, I, I, I like. I like this question. Oh, I like on. this one. I like this I one. I Sorry, Craig Ellicky, you've lost your moment. Oh, oh. Next. Okay, let's see. Though. Go. Wait, wait, where did the question go again? Allow me to pour you. Okay, it goes like, tell us something about you that very few people blends. know. Blends. We believe in blends. Man. Don't we believe in blends? No. Yeah, blends are good if they're good blends. Are they good blends? This is not a blend, though. This is a single malt. Sorry, Aaron, you asking me or are you just looking at me threateningly? Mm, I, I'm just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> let's see now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I, I think it, it, this question suits you very well. well. What's the question, as a, Aaron? As a massively gregarious kind of person, there's very little about me that people what don't know already. What is the already. question? He goes like, tell us something about you that very few people know. Oh, who are you asking? Very Simon. I, I'm desperately trying to think of something. I'd, I have this nasty habit of just constantly talking I don't know if anybody's no, ever noticed I, I, that. I know that one yeah. oh, we didn't pick I think that we yeah um, we didn't pick so that, that that's not that, that was a safe answer I think no fuck no. oh, oh, oh wait there so I've got what do you think Aaron I've got a massive birthmark on my bum <laughs> not many people mm. know that yeah I don't think anybody no. wants to know that right here <laughs> um, can we verify that though <laughs> yeah. I get oh fuck man this is really difficult I get very emotional on planes. There we go. Yeah, actually, I do as well. I'm there, man. I'm yeah, there. What is that about? What is that about? Awkward. What is it about? Did not expect that to be a watershed moment. What but is that about? As, to the Explain, extent that I've been thinking I will about laugh that. out loud embarrassingly loudly or I will actually start to cry yeah. in business class. Listening to music. Especially in business class. I don't know why. Yeah. I you cry. Did, yeah, you've had a couple of glasses economy. of wine. I think it's good. Yeah, the, the economy crying is a different thing. But... Depends who's paying. But no, seriously, <laughs> I, I'll find myself watching some Drew Barrymore classic with tears rolling down my face. Oh, come on. Seriously, that's how emotional I get on planes. Really? Apparently, it's a thing. Starvation of oxygen or something. Is I it? Know. I think so as well, yeah, because like, there's been a couple, like, maybe once. You're or not twice. on the mic, man. Come, so come close. Uh, you don't come in. No, come no, in. You got eliminated because yeah. you gave us a safe I, answer. <laughs> yeah. Zoom in. You don't join. Get to talk. You join. Ah, it's okay. Look, if you want to talk, don't give safe answers. <laughs> oh. I've it. cried on an airplane once in a movie as many times as I've cried not on an airplane. Drew I don't spend half the year oh, on an airplane. <laughs> two, two Scots together. It's a thing. It's drinking a whiskey. whiskey. Thing. Yeah. But no, there Emotions. you go. Something, I, something about me that not many people know, but actually people that sat next to me in a flight might know. So. That, that, yeah. that, that is actually pretty interesting because the, the what is that, security guy uh, book from the US actually says that there's no decision to be made uh, three, for, for three days after a flight. After three days. Is that right? Yeah, you're three not allowed days. to you're not allowed to make any decision Holy for shit, three that's days a long time. after a flight. I'm fucked for How? Well even like the most basic decisions <laughs> like I'm gonna go to the bathroom after this flight. <laughs> no, I mean like uh, any business major decision, decision right? Like wow. business decisions. Yeah. Why? Why? Sorry, where's that from? Uh, it, it, it's a US security guideline for that's the really a US really security? Yeah, yeah. Who for the for the diplomats. 
Why is that? Oh. Yeah, they, they, they oh. say that the depression actually causes them to actually think differently. Wow. So what happened is that when they actually land, they are going to suffer from jet lag, a lot of pressure. And then uh, what happened is that they might not think or, or, or decide uh, correctly. <laughs> what about drink? What does it say about too much booze on a podcast? Hey, look no, at the pilots. <laughs> do I'm, I'm sorry, look at the pilots. They drink all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, well, well uh, the last time I told you guys a story, I got bumped off, so I'm not going to tell you <laughs> one now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <sorry>. Next. <coughs> yeah. Well, well, the thing is, it's with Aaron. He asked a question. He can award a gold star, a two safe, or next. Uh, that, that, that is actually an interesting answer, actually. Yeah, yeah but I, commit, I, commit. Yeah, yeah. Is it going to be gold star, two safe, or next? In between. Oh, oh come on. That sounds like oh. next. That, 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 that means somebody else has to answer the question. Yeah, decision. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, unless, you know. It's got to be Amit then. Yes, Amit. that's right. I mean, oh, Greg, I'm going to tell my story hey. about airplanes. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're supposed to talk about something about you that nobody else knows. Well, and it can't know. involve Everything opening a bank man. account. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Cheers for, for being on point as a good chair of the, the questions there. We've done very well. Go, Aaron. Very good. Very, very firm. But so, fast. what was the question again? Look, he just told you. Fucking hey, man. Pay attention. Uh, maybe, maybe, what just we don't know about you is you. Well, we know you don't listen. Um. <laughs> What do we? Savage. What, what didn't I, can't, I can't hear you guys. I got this <laughs> thing on my my ears. Um, it's waxy build up from what smoking. Uh, Taxi. Um, I think very I'm, few people know. I've, I've, I think I've come to realise I'm, I'm OCD. That's not news. News. OCD. Oh, really? OCD. But in what way? He makes checks. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts checks. No, that was that compulsively. Was my, that was my past. Good enough to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, like when was the I last time? Like, uh, when was the last time you committed a crime? <laughs> that's not the question. No, no, that's not the question. <laughs> I don't care. That's not it. Yeah. That's the not question, the kind of question is. Asked in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not talking about banks or <laughs> checks anymore. It all seems to be a theme. Did you not notice that there was stuff. a theme between you cutting checks when you were a kid and how long it took you to open a bank account? Are you not uh, worrying there might be a theme there? <laughs> the <laughs> might, the <laughs> might they it got might you. Right, that is worrying. Might, that, KYC. That's why the global <laughs> bank probably picked that. Know your checks. That's what um, KYC stands for. I make commit. No, I, I just it's time. I, I make comment. I, I, I submit. I, I don't think people. <laughs> I don't think people know this because I only realised about a couple of years ago that I like to do everything in the same order every day. My desk and everything oh, has to be in the I like same. This. I like this conversation this all the time. Yeah, 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 I like this. Like everything. My the way I just. That charge my phone everything has to be the same let, the, the let's, way I shower in the morning has to be the yeah, same it has to be it. the same order I mean, let's do it order. start the walk us through it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when I'm not going to talk about my shower routine, but well, please, why not? seriously, yeah, why this not? is what the crime is about. Well, this is real <laughs> entrepreneurship. We all know. Are we talking shit, shower, shave? Here? How does this work? <laughs> no, we're just talking about the shower. Um, but it does. Even that has to be in the same order. Yeah. 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 Um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I am reasons. definitely OCD. OCD. Because well, well, you have a shower, that doesn't no. quantify <laughs> you as just because you don't. O, o, so OCD. My, Everything has to be in the same order. For like me. what? E everything, my entire like, day has to be in the same order. Is like a routine? Different? Like a routine, or, like or like a, the, the no. amount of every <laughs> well, meticulous a, thing. A, a routine is discipline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. But um, then it's also staid and boring. There's a really well, fine balance. In what way? In what way? It's the way I shave. Well, like, it's got to go in the same order. It's got to go in the same. <laughs> so left spot. to right or high? I like this. No, it That's goes. Th this is this is what it's about. Well, this no one's it. watching this. No, right? no, 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 we're not <laughs> telling anyone this. Yeah, right? Eight, eight and a half hours. This is between the six of us and Bert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, yeah. Course, yeah. Bert, Bert, make sure it face. doesn't it doesn't go out. No, don't worry, right? don't worry. Yeah. It's, it's not out. It's not it's not out there. So it starts here on the on the right, and then and then it goes on the left, and then I have to do my chin, and then have to. It's always the same thing. Everything I do <laughs> always has to be the same way. But what it, what happens if you did it the other way around? I wouldn't know because I never tried. Oh, man. I like that. <laughs> you like that, John. But have you developed those habits because they're better? Or is it because you've got better things to think about? <laughs> right. yeah. Does it matter? Yeah. Is it an issue? Does it worry you? It may. Why? It may. It may change the world if try it tomorrow it may, the butterfly uh, effect see what happens tomorrow if you do it differently don't 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 it would take there. a lot of conscious effort yeah, yeah exactly it, it really would but would that yeah. not open up new parts of your brain yes it would open new avenues for me right new avenues. Sure. could inspire new, new, new ideas corridors. could fuck you completely as well but I'm not try a day without without shaving 
Yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's oh, the problem. Right. Without, I've, got, I've got to chat with John and Graham about that. Do uh, without showering. How about that? There you go. Oh, man, that's going to be a problem. That one. Well, it's going to happen, yeah. it's gonna happen twice a day. It was your question. Yeah, yeah, this definitely deserves a gold star. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. It's totally unexpected. Yeah, that was, it was very... It was pretty unexpected yeah. for me, too. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's here, it's here. It's why I think that deserves a gold star. I'm back... Well, this is going back in. Well, yeah, thank yeah, you for that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're with pride. That's I got, I got, I got two of those. Yeah. No, we, we <laughs> like, you know, we like OCD <laughs> entrepreneurs. We're all a bit fucked up, you know. What <laughs> I mean? And I think that's the point of the grind, isn't it? Is that we're actually quite imperfect beings. <laughs> imperfect. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. We are imperfect masters of, of the yeah. universe. One hundred percent. That's how we roll here. <laughs> Barrett, choose us a random. No, well, I think he's summit now because yeah. he he, yeah. he, he ah. worked for the right. I he did. I got two gold right. stars. He two gold stars. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. No, no, no. You know that you have caught up. Yeah, you have yeah. caught up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, Amit, don't be, don't feel afraid to award this because <laughs> I, I think your answer was not very safe. It was very honest. Uh, well, I feel a bit guilty giving that to John because no, no. you know. Giving it to John. Oh, yeah, the too safe. Oh. You know, I, I like Does John in the microphone. Well, he was good in the microphone. He John's, was good. John's hurting in the corner. He's, he's regathering. He's regrouping. <laughs> he's he'll, drinking. He'll, he'll, he'll learn from that experience. Well, I mean, John, like next time, time, we'll bring our own microphones. <laughs> yeah, that's the answer to everything. <laughs> I even got my own microphone. I got a, I got my stars clipped on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. My question. question. Oh, I like you, Amit. Oh, well, thanks, Graham. I like you, man. That's all Go that matters. That's um. all that matters. <laughs> end, <doesn't> it? <laughs> Let's just keep it in there. We'll wake up tomorrow morning and we'll look back on this video and think, yeah. <laughs> worth, worth giving up three days of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, it is, Next. It the amount of rehearsals was... No, was well, zero, really. Zero, no. no. Not a side time. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I'm it. Do I get to choose the question? You, well, that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You get to choose the question. You read out the question you want to ask, well, and then you the, decide. The third one's been played already. Is it? Or no, is it was a different one. That had lemonade in it. Oh, <laughs> current hustle. Oh. Yeah. Side hustle is not the main hustle. Mm. A current side hustle. No, I like read, that. Read out the question that's first, question. and then decide who you're going to okay. ask. You're an entrepreneur and your boss. Show us you haven't your lost your own boss. Your own boss, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Show us you haven't lost your corporate mojo by demonstrating live how you tie a tie. Mate, I would love to ask Graham that question. Well well then we have to get we a tie. Tie. Yeah. Then actually, Stuart, make yourself useful. There's a tie on my desk Is out the, there. Are you oh, forgetting? Wow, you, just wow. got it just you have a tie? Oh <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> funnily enough. And the and the grief you gave me for wearing a suit when I, I walked in. The fuck? Yeah. I haven't lost my corporate mojo, <laughs> dude. I'm 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 staggered in a good way. Yeah, I, I, I is there like a hidden bed cave somewhere around here? Yeah, it's like on my desk. Mate, yeah. I've seen I've seen you run lots of panels and stuff on big corporate events. But yeah. I've never seen you wear no, a, tie. a tie. Yeah, but you know what? Despite all of that, I haven't lost my corporate mojo. Every now and again, you need to do these <laughs> things. Specifically, where is that again? <laughs> Specifically, where as is you walk it? out the door yeah. in front of you, there's a desk, and on that desk, there's a tie. On the desk. <laughs> now Barrett's in huh? he, he killed it What was that Barrett? Huh? You put it back in your bag I put it in the bag Oh there you oh, go Oh okay. there we go Oh there's a tie da, 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 It's coming da, out da, da, da. Oh check the The cash cash catch uh, Alright let's do this Ladies and gentlemen Mr. Graham Brown On the tying Of the tie <laughs> This is a real tie as well He's hey. going to tie himself up In his own Headphone is wire real, though just, just so people can verify it. Huh? <laughs> Genuine. That's how much he uses it. Graham, you might want to tuck that through the wire first. In power when, when was the last time you wore this? Oh, no. Seems a while. I don't think I've <laughs> ever worn this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it you've got your wire. Your wire. Yeah. No, 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 oh, is that no, part no, of it? It's part of it. It's part yeah. of the act. Okay. It's entertainment. Well, he's got, he's got a microphone on. There you go. Yeah. So... What, what, what Are we I doing do a Windsor like, here? Are yeah. we doing a half Windsor? Well, we might do a double Windsor. Oh, a double. Depends, depends how it goes. It really depends on the audience feedback. Double Windsor's only one more step, so it's... <laughs> Oi, like, well, don't, don't ruin it. Double, I like the single. Windsor. See, by speaking loud and into the microphone, I can't hear you anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to gently edge the microphone away from it's Stuart funny, Kerr. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so what was the question? Oh, yeah. How do Can I you tie a tie? Yeah. Fucking... It's too key. I'm a corporate dude. The fuck? Okay. What, what did you want? Did you have any special requests? Can you still tie a tie? Oh, is it? You didn't want to get fancy. Dude. Yeah, look, 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 I can wear a tie. I'm not convinced. Oh, he's doing a cool Windsor. Yeah, Dude, he's a, 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 a fucking full on. You want a kink? You want a kink? 
Are you on a king? I went to. Well, let's I went to public school, and for the last two years, I wore it in a double Windsor just because I knew how to do it. I was like, that way, hey. You know, wait, 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 wait. This is this <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool now. For the Morrissey fans, this is not a skinny tie. Yeah, I think his wife does it for him. Oh, Aaron's <laughs> down, oh, and, oh, down and dirty. I think just for that one comment, Aaron deserves a gold star. I'm sorry. Okay. She won that one. No. There is a tie. Yeah, tie. No. I'm sorry. You, you could you could know. That, that is no. a, that's how you tie that with a kink. That is, is, oh, is a way of that is that. How you tie just, just shut up in the corner. The, the guy <laughs> asked the question. Shut up in the corner. <laughs> Mate, with that not, you'd be lucky to get back into your school reunion. When? <laughs> my school reunion, they're probably, most of them, are, like half of them are dead. Dude, fist. There we go. Oh, that was school awkward. Thanks, Stuart. Save me. There you go. Look, what was that not? What do you mean? What's wrong with that not? Look, well, let's go I mean, well, well first of all, the tie, the, tie, the tie's a bit short. Dude, the best thing about that knot is it's got no K in it. It's just an N O T. That is how you tie a tie. That's well, so the good thing for the, you, the Graham, quest, the question I is we don't need ties anymore. Well, no, Next. but the question was do, do I still have a corporate mojo? Or I think can, you can. Can, can I still get a job can we? at Unilever? <laughs> well, Ooh, you know what? Do they wear ties at Unilever? Well, um, i gotta, well, I got to think about this. Well, let me think. Let Think about it, Emmett. Clean up a little bit. Yeah. Clean up. Shave. Uh, shave. Yeah, shave. Yeah. Yeah. Get a haircut. I'll, I'll well, do whatever. Shave's all right. right. If, everyone's if it means I can be mate, like I, I junior would, marketing manager at Unilever, mate, I will take I, it. I would get I'd one of those it. looks if it grew. It just doesn't one grow. One of those? No, it doesn't grow. Well, you, you mate, I got sick with dinghy once for three weeks. I was in the hospital. Because of that? And it didn't. No. <laughs> but because of the dinghy, <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> shave and it didn't grow. <laughs> um, it was pretty embarrassing. So um, <laughs> so I, I gave up on it. I because of dinghy. Yeah, well, maybe it was because of being... Your OCD but. must have been... <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no showering. But, but that time, that knot got a little bit better than before. Well, you did well, something hey, with hey, it. Hey, you did something with it. Let, let's set a benchmark here. Do you want me to tie oh, it? Oh, come on. Look, you I was going to say the gloves are off, but the tie's off. You, you oh, are man. the man. I mean, you walked in here tonight with a shirt and, and a, a, a shirt. jacket. <laughs> and a jacket. And a jacket. Yeah. And therefore, you are setting the bar. Can I... As no, oh, wait. Well, well, I think we, mate, we, the last time I was here, I had safe. a T-shirt on. And the, the other guest had a, had a full-on suit. Can I just say, one of the top most searched things on Google in India is how to tie a tie. In India? In India. In India really? Top well, 10 questions. Do you know what the most searched question in India is? At least last time I checked. How to kiss a girl. How to kiss a girl. Well, there you go. <laughs> Isn't that Life fa- skills. Isn't that it, wasn't a tie. it wasn't how to find one. How to get one. It was how to kiss one. How that to was kiss a girl. Presumptuous, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean. It's just the most beautiful question. Isn't that the most beautiful question, though? What? How to kiss a girl. It's like this, there's such a delicacy yeah. of... Uh, what's the answer? Depend <laughs> depends by girl, right? <laughs> yeah. I like the, the specificity of it though. How to kiss a girl? Specificity. Well, well, <laughs> let's, let's see what Amit's coming. Amit's just here. like totally cash getting into this shit. It's yeah. Like yeah. Zoom. Amit, no, no, you, 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 you got a kink. Amit do that every you, day. You, you, no, oh, you got, like you got like a kink in it. You got a bit of kink in it. Oh, you want the kink? Yeah, you got a bit of kink. That's better. There you go. Yeah. Oh, How's that king? Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. Yeah, is that Clean. kinky enough for you? Yeah, that's kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in fact, I'm a bit worried. You're a bit corporate. Straight in with a cleaved tie. I'm hey, impressed. I'm like a chameleon. Chameleon. Yeah. You are. Right. I so, like Amit, it. Amit, you answered your own question, which yeah, is worrying. Yeah. I think well, you get your go- There get are times to do that. You have to get a gold star for your own question. Oh, mate. Well, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. I just, I just well tied. I don't well, just, well, mate, this is your show. If you suggest it, we take no, it. It's not my show. Do you know what I've noticed is that there's a distinct number of too safe, but very few stars to give out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so does he get do one? I get that, Graham? Come on, mate. What, you want a gold star? Yeah, I do. Can I get a you star? Star? Can I get a star for the whiskey? Have a gold star, <laughs> man. <laughs> man. <laughs> I love you. Just like you're gold stars all night. For the benefit of those on the uh, podcast yeah. without the camera, John is quietly falling asleep in the corner. <clears throat> can I you're, just? Uh, can I just show my gold stars? Yeah, you're doing very well. But I mean, John, do you have any stars? <laughs> I've got a star too. No, you. I have. just want to say, Ooh. for the record, in what case did you get a star for John. Being awesome. The record, you can't answer. It's being awesome. He, being he, awesome. He, he does have one, but can I just say, in case some some viewers drop off, 
<laughs> in case I, I am, I am the winner. <laughs> I, I am winning. Wait, no, 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 the winner and he's winning got, are two different things. Oh. He's, got, he's got two. Uh, Stuart, he's very good. He's very good. Uh, have you well, a lot of respect for him. Is that you have three stars. Stuart, <laughs> so you have two. I've got a two safe. I'm safe. You have zero. You, you have one. John's got one. I have zero. I got none. Oh, uh, because well, he hasn't answered any questions. Had any questions yet, yeah, but well, that's because he came late. <laughs> oh, came late. Right, I'm it, Mr. A. Question All from right. you. Oh, be careful who you, you know, ask the question ask because if they question. win a gold it's star, you have competition. You know si that. Simon worries me. It's it's amazing how distinct both these squats are. Yeah. Stuart makes me comfortable. Simon worries oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They both smell a whiskey. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. And funnily enough, that's not a Scottish thing. Oh, Don't give the Scots too much the fact of a that we're sharing a right, microphone otherwise. is worrying as well. Yeah. Oh, right, it's right. like two Scots that are sitting too close to each other. It's, it's like two bits of a twin. You can't get them too close to each other. You just erupt. That's trouble. I like it. Come on. Let's take control. Question, Amit. It's your question, Amit. Yeah. Over to do the it, screen. Do it, do it. What? No, he's no pressure. Question. No, it's you. Oh, me? You won. I just, I just asked yeah, one. Yeah, no, you you did, you yeah, yeah but you answered the question. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh, okay. By a strange twist of fate, you won your own question. <laughs> I won my own question. Mr. Graham Please. Brown asks. It's, um, oh, that one. I'll go with that one. If you could have Stuart. any celebrity Stuart executive or public uh -huh. figure be an evangelist for your business or brand. Oh, who, that's a great who question. Who would it be and why? Mr. John Tanner with the good questions. I like it. Yeah, I would love to put that to John. Oh, unfortunately, uh, for the benefit of the podcast uh, listener, John is in the special me, corner for special people. people. <laughs> John, John's in the sin bin <laughs> yeah. for giving a safe, mm. safe answer. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm at choose. Uh, who am I going to ask this? Well, Aaron hasn't answered any questions. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Aaron, Sorry. that that's question's that, for you, mate. No, okay, who, who okay. was the last James? Oh, don't no, mix. No, 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 no. Don't mix. Yes. Aaron, answer the question. Who who was the last James Bond? Um, Craig. What? Daniel Craig. Craig. Who's the Aussie guy? Yeah, Daniel Craig. Daniel I, I think he's not Australian. Daniel Craig, the Aussie guy. He's Daniel not Craig. Daniel Craig. <laughs> Say it like a proper Scot. Isn't he? Daniel Craig. No? No? There's only one true Bond. Yes, Miss Money Penny. Yeah, I, I oh, think. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think he makes a really really good. Uh, Daniel Craig. Yeah, Daniel Craig. Yeah. <laughs> But does he make a good advocate of security enabled smartphones? No, but then looking at him <laughs> dressed up like James Bond actually gives you the idea it is. Well, <laughs> oh. well, especially without the cameras. Barrett, what was the question? Exactly, you see. It is some, uh, well, if you could have any celebrity yeah. executive or public figure to be an evangelist for your business or brand, who would it be and why? Okay, no, I'm with that. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Daniel Craig. Can't go wrong right there. Smooth. Yeah, why? That's a good answer. He's it, James but, Bond. I, I, in, in character. <laughs> I think a rather safe answer. Mm. Yes, that's witty. It is. It's, well, it's quite safe. It is it? But I is mean, it is safe it? enough to deserve a red card? Well, I, I can't get any other people. Right? I, I, can. I, I can. If you could have anybody, <laughs> as the question suggested, you've got a choice of seven and a half billion people. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It, it, it's really uh, stereotyping yeah. company. Yeah. I would go no, with just safe I'd go with Wonder Woman. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Yeah. Well, that's, I like that answer. Yeah. But the... the it's Aaron to answer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't go with Wonder Woman. Because, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a racist thing, but... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a racist thing. Oh, oh, now you're committing. Now you're committing. Why? Why? Well, uh, she, she, well she, she's Wait, a Wonder pots. Woman's Australian, right? <laughs> well, have you got against Australians? <laughs> no, well, no, 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 no. she's from Israel. Man, yeah, exactly. How, oh. how much safer Wait, can you get? From secure from a security standpoint. Yeah, well, well oh, yeah. The, the problem is that you know it, it because you know it's uh, it, it's very conflicting because we actually like like uh, you know like oil and gas. So so what happens is if you put like uh, you know, so it becomes really stereotype and Jew thing. Uh, Jewish Are you thing. telling me Wonder Woman can't take out oil and gas? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any other Wonder Woman, yes, but not that one. All right, all right, I, all right. I reckon he gets a gold star for that. He's been, <laughs> He's been quite honest I about it. He's been quite honest about it. I think yeah, we need yeah. to move on very swiftly. From very that, swiftly, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Let's yeah. dissect it in detail. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't want to do that. Let's head back as well on that. Yeah. <laughs> Barrett's quietly sinking into his chair. <laughs> I, I think it's the whiskey, but uh, but this this question keeps on actually <laughs> so going. Anyway, um, <laughs> Amit, Amit, yeah. over to you, Amit. Yeah. No, Amit, you awarded him a gold star. Therefore, oh, yeah. therefore, I get on that basis, oh. he gets asked that question. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm dubious. I'm dubious about the awarding of the gold star. <laughs> well, just well, he, he, he qualified a bit more. He was well. He, he was, he was, was he was spontaneous, yeah, and he spontaneous. answered very honest, honestly. Yeah, from yeah, the heart. Totally yeah he did. I mean, yeah. He, yeah. he said Wonder Woman couldn't take out oil and gas, oh, and I thought, yeah. So you, you leverage the fact that you've got independent people sitting. Yeah. To award as a, as a special. <laughs> 
independent. Are John, did you, you agree with yeah. my decision of independence? Well, I tell you, I tell you what, I tell you what, John, I'm going to give the cards to you. You can award the cards right. now. So, John, John, yeah. John okay. Yeah. Oh, totally. oh, so those yeah. off camera can yeah. award like stars. Yeah. I think that's a smooth move. Yeah. 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 Okay, like who's deciding the next now, question? We're not, not going to have any block go going between Scots and Australian Graham. Kiwis and all Graham. that Graham, wished. <laughs> Aaron, 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 I, I, I don't like question number three. It's very limiting. So I'm going to go with question number one, right? Right. Okay. And then it goes this is like from Mr. Graham Brown. Yeah, that's me. Okay. I'm going to give you 50,000. What, what's this with giving out money, Graham? That's I'm, how it works. I you think always we need to do this in real life. Can you just, Graham, can you get 50 grand out your wallet and we'll try it in yeah, real life to see how it works? Fine. How long we got? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to give you $50,000 to beat yeah. the company on your right. The catch is my 12 year old son will be CEO and founder you have four weeks to deliver and how are you going to do it <laughs> this can get deeply personal <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is it is a very personal yeah. Singapore question yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met your son at the Christmas barbecue he was like oh you know he's a bit of a prick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might actually be watching he's tuned in tonight yeah no, <laughs> big love to him you have to he, make sure he, my son is the CEO and is, the founder eh? yeah, is, that's part of the deal he is okay. 12 right your yeah. son yeah. He Aaron, is, right? yeah, yeah. Aaron choose your victim who's answering this question <sighs> okay now. I'm not going to ask Graham because I think he's really prepped for it yeah, yeah. yeah. it's his own question yeah <laughs> what my son will kick you out I, I'm so so tempted to actually ask Amir because he's uh, he's really ah, but, but the problem is Amir yeah who's, but he, who's the guy on the right it would be you yeah but he has the experience <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got twin boys twin boys yeah. so commit uh, commit commit, commit. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> so I've, I've got to put Stuart, Stuart here, right? but Stuart's on my right for the benefit of those who are on the podcast. Um, Stuart runs a business that's all about helping the deaf or the hard of hearing. Yeah. And I, I, and all cuts don't look the same. Both uh, <laughs> uh, they do. Enough, right? They don't all look like that. Aye. They don't all smell like whiskey. Bring the whiskey. Bring the whiskey. I'll bring the question back up. 50 grand. To, 50, 50 grand. grand to that's beat. US, by the way, US. Oh, that question is from Graham Brown. 50 <laughs> grand to beat. That it was your particular 12 year old son you were talking about. And yeah. the catch is your 12 year old son. <laughs> well, yeah, my 12 year old son. Oh, your, mine, sorry, mine, the 12 year old son <laughs> of Mr. Well, Aaron you, Cheng. You, you can play it as you like. Okay, what I'm going to do here okay. is I'm going to give your 12 year old son. The fifty thousand dollars. No, 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 you're gonna give you. you no, know, Aaron's gonna give you fifty thousand. Exactly, and I'm gonna give it to your twelve-year-old son, and it's your fifty grand that your twelve-year-old son then has, and you're gonna give him the best possible fucking advice. Oh fuck oh, you! Oh, 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 get off, get off the mic! Get off the mic! Get off the mic! We don't like it. Get off the mic! Beat it! Give him a break! Give him a break! It's like no, I'm giving you back harsh. your fifty thousand grim and shove it up your ear. <laughs> that was harsh. That was harsh. I, I did think that was a bit harsh in time. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You, you skirted the question, so I, Simon, you could deliver. <laughs> Simon, you could be a lot harder than that. So Simon, actually, Simon can get to I'm award award the red cards now. That's awesome a, that's answering dangerous. questions. Usually. By the way, whoever gave Simon a red card can now get one from Simon. He's Ooh. got them. So <laughs> yeah. Well, that was that was an unsuccessful answer. No. <laughs> Who, he's like, yeah, I'm giving you back your money. You can shove it up, you know, where the sun yeah, doesn't shine. <laughs> the 12 year old <laughs> son. Here's your cash back. <laughs> All right, so, Aaron, Aaron, you you you're left with the the ramifications of that. What happens next? What happened next? So well, uh, same guy. Uh, I mean, the same side. <laughs> just two. Yeah. You got 50, look, look, Aaron's going to give you 50 grand. Okay. The deal is he's going to put his 12-year-old son as the CEO of the of your business. Okay. Four weeks to beat Amit's business in <laughs> beer, <laughs> da data science, and research. Your four weeks deliver. Can I see the question again? Because there's a couple of specifics I want to I'm going to give you 50 grand. <laughs> yeah, that's going to work. I'm putting you right. Okay, so I'm going to assume that the company is not already incorporated, right? Well, so he's, he's, well, his company. His company. Mine isn't. Yeah, yours is. Uh, right? No. There's no, there's so no, I'm going to incorporate no weasel <coughs> clauses here. No so weasel I'm going to incorporate it, be the sole director of the company, and employ your son as the CEO, right? Yes. Your son is not on the board of directors. Nope. But he does get a salary and a vesting share option, right? Yes. So over four years, he gets, I don't know, 10% of the company. Four right? weeks. Four weeks. You have to make it work first within four weeks before we go through the plan. Nah. No, wait, nah. wait, wait, no, you think it's a competition, but that's no, 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 right, okay. So, because I'm the debt of the company and a major shareholder, I own at least 90% of the company. I can totally override anything that he does. Just because he's the CEO doesn't mean I can't fire his ass. Exactly. Right. So, that being said, uh, what's the next part of the question? <laughs> 
That's not in the four weeks to deliver. Yeah, yeah, you have exactly. to deliver. Exactly. Mate, you have to be it's amateur. Really ass. tough. Yeah, because you've got to compete with the ecosystem. You have a business run by a twelve-year-old kid. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not run by oh a twelve-year-old kid. It's it's got a, it's a company that has a twelve-year-old kid employed as CEO yeah. as an employee of the company, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, generally, so, CEO is so that's okay. Key employee. Yes. Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so okay. the question is, how do you beat Amit with a twelve-year-old? That's the part of the question I'm trying to stall on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. What do you say? What do you say? Uh, go on. What do you say? I was like, go um, on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, that's one way out. Stu, um, you're stalling, mate. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you say? Are you back me up on that? Is he stalling? Well, um, he has to, he has to stall. You, it, is, it is a difficult question. But, it is, but... Can but you, can you remind me specifically what it is that you do? <laughs> oh. Specifically. No, 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 no. I mean, like, I know in general, but like, I, Stuart, I want Stuart, to know before look, I build getting, up a plan here. He's getting, he's getting nervous. With, look, look, he's going to call that. Well, based, based on the way he's answering that question, you could say I was busy answering my messages on the phone. I wasn't very, very concerned about him. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well I'm not. <laughs> Just as well I'm not then, right? <laughs> Well, you, you know what, brutal, I, 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 I do want to say, no one give me a too safe card for that, but I do want to say what you're doing is a lot more meaningful than what any of us are doing. Oh, I think you get I a too safe card No, man, that. come on, I don't, I, I got three, I got three no, stars. No, 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 it's not part of the card. I got three stars, come on, that counts for something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm desperate here now. <laughs> no, 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 we, we, we're, we're going to increase, we, we're going to increase uh, Graham's wallet a little bit, right? So, you know, $50,000 isn't going to cut it, right? Yeah. So it's like, uh, now he goes like, yeah, you know what? I'll give you as much money as is possible. You just have to make sure the company actually beats the guy. Actually, all right. Yeah, I mean, right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Right. Okay, so what I'll do? Is, say fifty thousand. No, we said as much. Right. Okay, so what I'll do is. So we have. Right. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll befriend you for a while, right? Yeah. And I'll learn as much about you as you can without telling you that I'm the owner of this business, right? It's gonna grow you. I'll feed. I'll tell. I'll tell the twelve-year-old CEO exactly what to do, and I'll say like, <laughs> "You will build up this awesome reputation over the next four weeks if you can do this." Right? And then, well, what you forget is I've got eleven-year-old twin boys, four weeks, yeah. and they'll take on a twelve-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to throw this your way. Get the fuck off. Yeah. I'm still living with the guilt of pumping you off that. I feel like I've redeemed myself now. Don't worry, don't worry. It'll come around. It'll come around. Calm on. I'm not going to talk about banks anymore. Nobody has answered that question. It's a tough question. It's probably the guy on the right is actually to set the bar too high. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, this is the point of the grind is to work out who the real entrepreneur are and what? who's just talk and and we do have our own beer i mean we that do, does yeah. count sponsored by yes ecosystem beer yeah, yeah. It's, without uh, the e without the e yeah spell it right the, keep, it, keep e. it simple and easy can, I, can I have a go way. with it yeah with the ecosystem can i have a go with the question erin you can answer your own question anytime if you're unsatisfied with our answers well, you, but you, know, you risk the run. You I'll, you I'll like twist. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have a blast out of this. Actually. You, uh, I'm going to get fifty thousand dollars to put. He's sitting here with his cards. I'm, I'm, oh yeah, well, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Go on, bring Aaron. it. Come here. Bring it on. So okay. fifty thousand dollars is actually pretty pretty good sum to actually work with. Actually, yeah. to do what? To to start a business and then uh like for a twelve year old kid. For a twelve year old yeah. kid, <laughs> no, no there, there's no stipulation that the twelve year old kid. You know, it, it it doesn't have to make any decision. <laughs> this is this is Asia after all, right? This is the like global business. What, what's know? what's he gonna do with the fifty grand? He's not gonna touch the fifty grand. YouTube video. I grand. am so I I am the one that's actually gonna touch the fifty grand, right? Why? I'm gonna make the decision. He CEO is just a title, right? Exactly. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. You you got disqualified. Well, CEO so is I, just I, a title. I'll, I'll say <laughs> exactly. Um, just on your behalf. But, but John can't say that because he's, he's an executive search guy. He hires CEOs all the time. It's not yeah. just a title, John, well, is it? Uh, what I will say is that you can do fuck all with 50 grand. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but but tell me what you're doing with 50 grand. Yeah. Well, exactly. Okay, like, uh, okay. So I'll just put the sun actually. So actually you yes. have to beat the guy on the right, which is me. Yeah, the, okay. Well, it's not going to be easy, but yeah, we're going to try. We're going to have a, so a, how are you gonna a go. How you going to do that? Fifty grand. So a twelve year old. So, so the the kid, the twelve year old kid. These are expensive right? micro. These are expensive microphones. Yeah, yeah. your expensive twelve year old kid <laughs> is going to be just basically CEO by name. I'm going to be the advisor that is actually going to execute everything for you. So take fifty thousand dollars, put it in PR, put it into marketing, try to fundraise. So we go change that fifty thousand dollars into two million. 
Like from two million dollars, I think it's it's pretty easy to how? grow pretty much. How? Sorry. How does that become two million? Well, we we're gonna like fundraise, right? We're gonna do like oh. crowdfunding. Peer it's, to peer, it's fundraising you know? just PR. Huh? It's fundraising PR. PR, yeah. Yeah, we go like uh, you know genius. We're gonna like spin it, right? The PR firm is gonna go like, yeah, this twelve-year-old genius kid at the age of six actually read the whole entire si- memorized the whole entire si- encyclopedia. And yeah. They, yeah, and then basically you know, at the age of eight, he actually did, you know. Like, did an ICO. So you're also <laughs> working with the child genius. Yeah, you're yeah, also exactly. working with the child genius. Yeah, child genius. Wait, I got a, I got a business plan. I gotta have chat with my PR firm because yeah. you know they're pretty good, but they're not raising any money for me. Oh. Yeah, then, yeah. then you can you can you can just keep on going, right? And then basically, like, oh, you know, at the age of six, you memorize the whole Encyclopedia Britannica. At the age of eight, <laughs> uh, you know, he, he can recite the dictionary backwards, <laughs> right? And then basically, you know, at the, yeah, the age of yeah. somebody do that for me. <laughs> <Yeah. man. laughs> get get, get right. this guy off. Get yeah, this right. guy off. Get, Aaron, get the hell off. I'm sorry, sorry, mate. One of you two are back. Go. Who's next? It, Simon. Yeah. Get Simon on. Simon. <laughs> that was, that, that, that was interesting sorry, and I'll, disturbing at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was a really hard question. I didn't realise it was going to eliminate three people <laughs> at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a tough question. I think the fact that anybody stepped up to that question itself was honourable. Epic. Epic. Oh. Epic is the only word. Epic in the sense of like, a, you know, a Grecian odyssey. <laughs> Grecian 2000. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we still have the thing. The thing Sorry. is, even though we booted Aaron, Aaron off, is that we still haven't answered the question. So, how now? Yeah. yeah well, we're left. Where do we go from here? Strange Mexican impasse oh. again. <laughs> John, I hand it over to you because you seem like the most diplomatic. How, how do you P- deal? Please with? repeat yeah. the question. No, uh, yeah, please we'll... just ask a new question. Oh, anyway, my, my, I'll go with a new question. You go with a new question. Yes. Right. Scratch that. Graham Brown has a I'm not going to ask my own question. Uh, yeah. What, what, what is the, the biggest achievement, your biggest achievement in your personal life? Oh, oh that's so many. Mm. <laughs> Where should I choose? <laughs> yeah, really, how long have we got? <laughs> I'm Simon. Fuck, I was just, I was really, really struggling. No, I'm going to... Uh, I was just can looking at questions. Can I have board. the shot glass and the like a villain, oh, yeah. please? Simon, I was, I was no, looking no, no, forward Kalila. to asking you a question that you didn't Kalila. write. Oh, are you going to bring this one over? I want the Kalila, please. John, if you can pass me the, uh, no, he's the scary he's whiskey. Get to, get to the, the point, biggest Simon. achievement in my personal life. Can I... Can I and you're all going to massively fucking score me, but that's what the yeah. grind's all about. Um, I'm, I'm going to avoid the cliched marrying my wife because I know I get too safe. That, that, that is rubbish. Personally, but let me pause there. If I'm going to give you the grind answer, the grind. my proudest moment is having 200,000 fans for my DJ page on Facebook. No yeah. fucking question. Well, no, I, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. great answer. Can I? Can I? You're not a DJ, I'm a DJ? DJ, motherfucker. I'm a DJ. So can I do this thing like when you were like going to talk about doing the answers in a fucking foreign language earlier? I'm going to do it in an accent, mate. I'm a fucking DJ, you know what I mean? <laughs> Geezer, <laughs> I'm fucking trying, DJ. Well, have a play. Star, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fucking name. Are you, oh, are you DJ? I am a proper fucking DJ. Do you know what? Should we load this up? Go to mixcloud.com slash esky. Hey. Oh, we I mean, can I, even play some, for some, free free gigs. some rights free managed gigs. techno and trance. Mixcloud.com slash esky. I like it. Ladies and gents. I am. I used to have a radio show every week where I played trance and techno. Well, then, dude, you got yeah. the star. There you got go. the star. You let's got the star. Let's not have it. Let's, 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 let's what it. else do you need? No, let's, let's I, I think down. you've got an unfair advantage, man. Oh, yeah. Well, that let's, one. Just, let's chillax. Ch- we don't need to any of these. <laughs> oh, <laughs> say, say you, your you question. My question. Oh, we don't no, no grandstanding. You don't want to hear a fucking techno on show. Let's not dwell. Okay. Next question. It's not how entrepreneurs are. Mr. B. No. Do you. Mate, you, 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 so, you're not an entrepreneur. You've got talent, man. <laughs> you, Entrepreneurs America's, don't have talent. America's got yeah. talent. <laughs> so I actually really like this question, Mr. John Turner. Do you have a current... Side this is really hustle. important. Do you have a current side hustle? So this is probably nothing to do yeah. with a business world. I actually want to ask this to Stuart Kerr, who's not but on he's mic. Not on, but then you can't. So you can't, you can't. You're not allowed. You That's no. Uh, well, uh, no. Oh. Ask John, John on the basis John of the fact question, that... John, on question, dude. Because Stuart was too safe with his answer. Too safe. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Okay. John Tanner, seeing as it was yeah. a question. What is your current status, Mr. Tanner? John, John, can you can you answer this in whisper tones? Whisper. <laughs> Hushed. 
Hostone and husky tones. Um, <laughs> what I can do. Yeah, well, it's funny because I get a lot of shit thrown at me all the time. Um, I'm, oh. just, I'm just looking at production over here. I'm, I'm worried about what's going yeah, on. Yeah, there's, there's bad video production, apparently. It's low Let's output. keep going. We're good. All right. The yeah, audio no is still good. Audio is working. Yeah. Good. All right. Keep rolling. Come on, side okay. hustle, Mr. So John Tanner. I'm just waiting for your attention no, to be no, honest. No, no. <laughs> you got my attention. So, we just right, trying to run cool. the show here. Um, I, I think it's healthy to always have a side hustle of some agree. degree. Right? Totally agree. Totally agree. And I think uh, it keeps your creative juices flowing. And you Do you have juices? I hope so. <laughs> what are those juices? I when when, when the river runs dry, you don't want to be there. Exactly. Right? Yeah, correct. Okay. So, no, side so, hustle. so, so my side hustle at the moment. It's funny because of, it's it's a fairly recent side hustle. Um, obviously. You know, have we not got to the point yet? No, because we, we, we were just like free we waiting until you keep fucking around all you want. Out. But I'll, I'll get to the point when I, when I get to <laughs> it. <laughs> so, indulge us, indulge us. Yeah, I'll indulge you. Do you right. have a side hustle? So yes I've, or no? I've got some mates who bought. You've got some mates. That's I've a side got hustle. Some mates <laughs> who bought some distilleries: oh, yes. tequila, yes, and Japanese whiskey. You and I need to have a chat because that's oh, my side hustle too. Bang! Right, so you know, from Tassie, you come from a small place, small community, but very tight. Some people expand across the universe and, and do okay. Is there a distillery in Tasmania? Well, there are many. It's a couple of really good ones. Yeah, there are. There are. Now, this particular situation is actually yeah. a tequila from, from Mexico, the first organic tequila from Mexico, and also a Japanese whiskey distillery that actually sits in the mid market, which is unheard of. What's it called? I can't tell you yet. You can. But what I can tell you is that they will be active and releasing in the next six months in this market. So as so the my, president and, of the Singapore and, Whiskey and Society, so, we need so to So here's the thing. I know a lot of a, a lot of people who, some who annoy the shit out of me, but some who are good friends. And, and, and it's like some, people come well, to me and say, tonight. yeah, some of them are here tonight. <laughs> exactly right. And, and they go, hey, do you know anyone in Asia who can distribute booze? Oh. I'm like, uh, on a personal basis, yeah, yeah. distribute yeah. a drink. And then these say. are friends who are mining investors, right, in London. Yeah, mining. I'm going, okay. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. It's going to cost you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is that your hustle? I've done a deal. Yeah. Side hustle. I've done a hustle. fucking deal. Okay, I I, said. I'm, as the asker of the question, it's yeah. going to be really fucking hard to beat somebody who's got a distillery. But yeah. I'm at Two distilleries. Well, oh, 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 is. is that not good enough? Are you saying that's... No, no, are you moving on? Do you know I'm hedging? You're hard to please. I'm selling tequila and whiskey. I'm oh. Goldman Sachs. That's my side hustle. Fact like that? The fact that he went for tequila as well makes me worry. Amit, can you beat it? You tell it yourself, I can't. Oh, fuck it. It's John. <laughs> I can't. Amit. I mean, he's got a bank. I'm Amit. 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 Oh, man. Oh, I take, take it. it. Chum. Okay. Can you throw the safe at you. Oh, Chum. Man. Next. You should you just... have a distillery. Can I? Tool? Can we no, all? My mate I do, I do apologize for giving you that two safe card. Yeah, the, but the, that the quantity of whiskey we've gone through tonight. Nothing about anything I do is safe. <laughs> I think, just, John, based on the quantity of alcohol we've consumed on tonight's show, you are in safe community here say or oh, too safe no I no no I, I think he's, he's making money out of this oh yeah he's very easily not yet but i will be Dude, you went through an entire mccallum have you validated pretty it pretty much yeah. half a key. Yeah. the um the kalila disappeared yet we've done the kalila has gone i don't know it's, it's magically oh, disappeared the jet, they're, they're oh, all going they're out all sort of oh, there's, there's a bit of kalila yeah. left there's yeah. a dribble and a half of kalila left. yeah i'm, I'm impressed we've actually we, we started strong, but we've finished no, no, all was, the whiskey. It, it was it was good in there. We finished strong. I can't believe we finished. We started strong. Happen. Finished strong. That's how we yeah, meant to go. Straight in front Amazing. of the camera. We went in hard. We still got so, wine. Just like put, there you go, Kalila, ladies and gents. It, uh, one of the nicest. Simon, did it answer the question? Sorry, what was the question? I don't know. Side hustle. But did it answer it? Oh yeah, fucking how John. Go with side John's hustle? a winner. That's a side hustle. Is it, and a, half. Is it a gold star? It's it, it's a it's a double it's a double fisted star. I'm smashing that. That's a winner. <laughs> John, the question There's been no mention fisting on it. No, <laughs> it's either a gold star or it's, it's a gold star. Oh, yeah, that's John, your choice. John. Don't, don't, no show, bro. It's, it's a gold star. Not not only because it was a distillery, but because it's a golden liquor, and therefore it's a golden yeah. star. Yeah. Tequila. Well, well done, John. 13-year-old tequila. That's wow. A bottle. Is it yeah. mezcal or tequila? It's the first organically certified tequila in the world. Dude, I fucking hate it, but credit. Because yeah, you're doing you whiskey as well. Stuff. And then very affordable <laughs> Japanese whiskey. Yeah. Uh, see, the whiskey I'm with you on. Let's do that. Anyway, next question, Barrett. Let's move on before we well, John, degenerate. John wins. John does win. <sighs> I don't know how to I compete. get one star. One last question before star. we wrap up for the evening. Um, it's winning. Um, it's got three fucking I, I stars. Th I think we're probably pushing the edges of, we are of, of, of YouTube's 
possible acceptable welcome time. No, no, no. also needs to go. It's like up. as long as you want right now. Up to about ten hours, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's acceptable. I it's really it. wish I bought that Keep pizza now. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Go. Look. Question, John. When the... an offer to oh the top one's the no, best. No, no, it's John, John's asking. Sorry, my lad. <clears throat> John. If you've awarded John, John question. gets the John. Question number one. Question yeah. Number well, I'm going to ask question number one, <laughs> only because it's Supplement. economically compelling. Uh, an offer to buy your business at five times what you think it'll be worth in five years' time. What do you do and why? The buyer will shut it down and you can't start a new one. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Love it. Well done, Neville. Good question. Well done, Neville. Well done. I'm going to ask that question to Graham. Graham. Yeah. Graham. So what do I do? Graham. Like, yeah. I, I think that. you're pretty fucking pragmatic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw yeah. that. <laughs> I saw that and that's it. Did once again a three word answer from Graham. Yeah, he can loves we, a short answer. Can you I, just do us a favour, Barrett? Can you put the question back up on the screen? You fun- happy with that? You is fundamentally that a gold star? So Neville, the reason I love this question is you fundamentally. It is missed. a fucking gold star as a response. It is yeah. a great response. I like that, that. that is absolutely sell in my mind. It. If anyone thinks that's the wrong response in this room, but here's, get the fuck out. Here's the yeah, thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, Bring, yes. It doesn't make any sense yeah, not to accept that. Do you know no. why this is a good question? Bring up the question again. Because it's worth five times what I think. What you worth. think it's worth. Exactly. There you go. I think it's worth. So whoever wrote this question, Neville, 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 Mister Neville. Don't understand the le- the lengths of the imagination. Yeah. Oh, you've no yeah. idea how much this business is. Worth. <laughs> See, no idea. My <laughs> answer, my entire answer changed as soon as you emphasized the what you think it's worth. Yeah. Got, to read, oh, got to read. Got to read the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When there's That's open a, there's interpretation. There's only one answer, and that's three words. To Graham Brown. Yeah. Three yeah. words. It's an exponential. No, I don't. <laughs> they're, they're offering you an exponential result yeah. so right yeah. now. The three words are fuck yeah, it's, bye. It's, it's like the impossible. Here's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. here's a time machine. Yeah. Do you want it? Do it? Yeah, do you want it five <laughs> times what you think it's worth? Correct. Absolutely. Right. Like, we're done on this question. Uh, I can't start another one. Right. Who you cares? Chill but it doesn't price. mean that you can't invest you, you in other ones. You take the and most unworthy star that's ever going to be dealt out on the show. Take a star. Easy. It's Absolutely. too fucking easy. I, I'm not take arguing it. with you. I'm not going to reluctantly have a, have accept this. Have a star this. from me too. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, <is laughs> to that? not relu- reluctantly hey, accept that dude. would be to deny the proposition we've just Absolutely. discussed. It would be an offence yeah. to the entrepreneurial right. community. Right. Barra, next question. Take it. Come on. I humbly accept. I'm humbled. Well played. Without a bottle opener, as it says at the bottom. Bring it on. I'm humbled. I get to ask a question. You're humbled. I'm humbled. <laughs> to get to ask a question on your Scroll own podcast. Yeah, oh, come on. Well, <laughs> I, I, I do put it out well, in the these, wild. These are it's tough. Not, these it's are, not like I'm... Dude, these are tough questions. All right. So um, let's have a look now. So question. Um, so I like this last question by Anonymous Coward. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> you, I wonder a, who that a, is. A relative of no. <laughs> but, but, you know, we... we <laughs> Respect, I'll say. It doesn't have the balls to ask the question when we put their name on it. <laughs> if you were offered a job with Facebook as a senior management, would you ditch your current setup? As I, a I, senior start, management. I, no, no, I think we need to preface this because the senior... Le, we need to se- preface this in the way uh, that I intended to ask the question, which is... Well, no, the senior <laughs> management at Facebook... Bring that question back up, please. Look, the senior management job... I, I'm Facebook. I'm offering you a job. How and much? The, the job is a million dollars, sing a year for the, the next five years no. would you you can ask your start manager I'm going to ask you Stuart no fuck no no start up Facebook can fuck off look face, Facebook going to build an electric car no they're, no, they're not going to build <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to put Dyson is me can we can good we for them man like, they're building it in Singapore can, man. Stuart, Stuart can I ask you the question again of course yes <laughs> In the way that you originally intended when you posted it the first yeah. time. No, <laughs> I, I didn't post that. I didn't post that. Oh, of course. Of course yes. No, no, because it's somebody who clearly can't write English properly. Ooh. Right. So watching the show. As right a senior management. You're employing a Scotsman. <gasps> well. Cunt, John, cunt, cunt. I don't <laughs> John, you put words in my mouth. For as many. Like as many. Yeah, yeah, next. Yeah. But like, for somebody who like, writes for a living. Right. So Come on, Dyson question. offer you a job as senior management for a million dollars a year to build an electric car. Oh God! And what's the downside? And what? No downside. Because there's no downside this time. No, just a million bucks. Build yes. Wow. You do it. Okay. Fuck yes. <laughs> 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 yes, in a heartbeat, man. <laughs> in an absolute heartbeat. Oh. But there's no downside. I'm, I'm glad you're investing. Start watching. <laughs> no, because. <laughs> 
<laughs> would you ditch your current start at the end of that question? No. So if that was I the condition, no way. It's oh, okay, because okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah so I asked you twice. Yeah. Like, and what? And what? Yeah. So, no. So if there's no downside, I get to uh, run my company. Do you start I get as to well. run my company yeah, two or yeah. three days a week, man. Is that playing it safe? What do you mean? Oh. Nah, it's oh, too safe. Oh, that's quite What do you mean it's too safe? I've invited my investors to watch this podcast. That that was vindictive. Simon says it's too safe. Nah, are you really going to ditch your own? Startup. No, no, right, no, okay, no, so, ah, no, 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 so, no, 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 are you going to ditch your wife for the new lover? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Wait, stop using analogies to explain something <laughs> no. that's already very simple. No. <laughs> that's a very good no, no, like, start. Don't use analogies Stay to explain wrong. things exactly as they are. Are you going to ditch exactly the wife? Exactly as they are. Are you going to ditch the wife for the million dollar lover? The million dollar lover is not necessarily Dyson. I oh, might yeah. already be. Oh, I oh, might oh, already oh, be with the million dollar wife. lover. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't, don't, the million dollar lover is do not, not make That's analogies. We right. know that. Do Lady, not make le- analogies when, okay, ladies the, and gentlemen. when it's already clear. Here we go. So Dyson. Why don't I just answer the actual question? No, I'm going to, I'm getting to the question without any ambiguity. Well, sorry, sorry. It, there was no ambiguity. It was your it was question. Just, I, take I, it. I want to know. Just asking does anybody have a million dollar lover that's also their wife? Oh, at the same time. Just, really? That, you, you don't have the two. It's a million dollar lover or, or your, your wife. wife. Exactly. That was the question. No. Tim. Right. You don't get to have your cake and eat it in no. this life, Graham. Jesus. No, exactly. I'm anyway, not, I'm anyway. not true. I'm not true. I'm learning. If I had to give up my business to join Dyson to be a part of the senior management team to build an electric car, at a million dollars a year. No, <laughs> no way. But you would do it if you didn't have to give up your business. Right. What about what about that would be yeah. smart. if you knew it? Yeah. So because I could be the Stuart. major shareholder in my business. If you knew, it was hire a CEO. I could. Personally, pay a CEO one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. It's going to sell for a billion in three years. Correct. I'm strategy. still the major shareholder of my company. Then, if it's the way that he yeah, but you're, the so if you. If I had to build, but if I had to get rid of my current company, no. This is, this is one of those. There's a reason I left Dyson to go to something else. It's because I believed in my own venture this is more so than Scottish. This is more this is, than that. There's a very clear divide on the side of the room. And Stuart, <laughs> no, Stuart and I are together. Stuart Star. star. Yeah, I'll agree with my two sides. I'm really clear on this. That's I'm really star. clear on a this. Million dollar. Lover. I spent a lot. Long ass time deciding whether to There's do this. There's nothing like waking up. Is not nothing like waking up self satisfied. I, I can't. I can't argue with the decision if there's no downside risk. Is there? But yeah. there is. Yeah. It's a billion dollars. Versus... Do you get to do exactly what you're doing and also build an electric car and get a shitload yes. of cash? Yeah. yeah, yeah fine. Yeah. 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 Of course you're not. Of course you're not. That's the point. Yeah. You, you've got to give up your own business now. Let's I have to give up my business then. Right. If, no, I would do that if somebody offered you a billion dollars to give up your business, would you? A do billion that? dollars. A billion dollars. Uh, a billion. A billion. <laughs> what is your number? We're all we're out here. What is your number? Because this is it, right? Once you've decided that it's just a question of a number, then yes, I'll give it up and then I'll start it again. With, well, a, with a billion dollars of right, money. Right, right. Uh, so, Stuart, hang scale, on. scale it back. At what point does right. it become yes and no? When after a million does it become a billion? At which point do you say yes? Ten. Well, I mean, you have multiplied it by a thousand <laughs> within one job. To be, so to be fair, like... after a couple of drinks, it was easy to do that. But it is. Because I don't yeah. have that cash to offer you, but go on. Yeah, but What's your number? Yeah. When is your soul available for purchase? <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually the question. You're exactly. basically asking, like, at what, you know, like at what value would I, I sell my business at? Right? Yeah. Yeah. At no, what no, value no, would I sell my business at? No, right? no, 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 it's not. It's not what would you sell at your business at? It's at what value would you sell your soul? Yeah. yeah. When do you give up your dream? No, when do you give up what you care about for somebody else's dream that yeah. they're then paying you to realize? Which is effectively um, bullshit aside, that's what this question is, right? That's the best question m- in entrepreneurialism. Lover. Well, that's yeah. not what the question's about, like. No, but I've, like, I've rearranged it. It is the best question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, With like, your you Kalila. up, like, to suit... You. Uh, g- give him a break, Simon. No, Are you, can, I think... Are you a gold no, 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 no. I'm no, giving no, him no, two no. gold stars I, already. Bring the question I, I back up again. Right. Back off the gold stars. Right, bring the question. Well, stir, stir. If you were offered a job with Facebook as senior uh, management, fucking, would you ditch your... No, well, Facebook. Had Facebook That's not called. what the question is asking. No, no. it's... it's what would to leave you working Yeah, but yeah. because I'm, I'm, I'm admiring the answers you've given, I wanted to stretch them further. Okay. Stir, so, take on the next question. Take on the next question. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think I've totally taken that one on. I think that deserves a gold star. You got one. Yeah. What oh, the fuck oh, sorry, so did, um, can I have Simon, my on. Stars, Simon gave me two gold stars. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I, I'm not sure if that was part oh, of the oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. It's part yeah, of the Scottish man. mafia thing yeah. going on here. Yeah, it's clearly a. It's 
clear Celtic moment here. Yeah, exactly. Stu, make sure, make sure, make sure you give me an easy question and I'll answer it. We'll Let's move on. on. That's fine. That's fine. We've got OCD people here. are going to struggle. Very Just loose with the with the yeah. with the well, uh, assignment of gold stars. I think. I mean, I think <laughs> he's, he's a Scottish. Bit. He deserves to be Scottish. I'm not going to tell you. Wow, I don't know if that's <laughs> a, a thing to shout. About. But that's what happens when you delegate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So like you delegate the gold star giving. I, I'm conscious of time. Yeah, we've got two and a half hours tonight. Okay. Two and a half sure. hours. Time People are still listening. We des- they deserve they to hear deserve more. So shall, we, yeah. so, yeah. Bar- so shall we reveal the counter question? Barrett's just no. flashed the numbers. Eight and a half million yeah. people tuned in right now. Holy yeah. shit. Show sure the questions. Yeah, so Sue, so, 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 last question is yeah. with you. Maybe you could ask okay. that everybody. Oh, oh okay. Just to make the it last one's perfect. Controversial. And then I think um, we're done. Two and a half hours. Mime on a podcast. Mime. Mime on a podcast. That is crazy. Anonymous again. Anonymous (laughs) coward. There's a few of those tonight. So it's all with you. How are we going to say it? How are we in tonight? Um, No cowards spawn are everywhere. No cowards. (laughs) (laughs) It's so pathetic. (laughs) (laughs) Next. So so let's end the the podcast on a high. No pressure. We start Um, on a good note. Let's end on a good note. Yep. Okay. Let's, let's <laughs> commit some positivity to the world. Okay. So you're basically hinting at the third question. No, 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 no. 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 Answer, Ask any of the questions. Just Ask any, do it well. Yeah, that, that, that's what's about. That's how we roll. Right. Okay. So here's a humbling question to end the night. Right. Humble what will break. make you think that someone from out uh, from outside? Yeah, yeah. From outside, may be able to grow your business better than you. Now, this really goes down to the the. Like the ego thing about starting your own business. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people that start a business because I want to, I want this, you know, like doing business on the beach with my, you know, legs on a beach Instagram In photo Bali. type of thing, right? The yeah. hot dogs. You know, <laughs> you know, like, typical, you know, like hashtag typical work day, all that kind of shit. <laughs> start the life. ego, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the ego. It's like I want to start a business because I want to be seen as somebody that starts a business, right? Mm. So that's kind of a bit of the difference. Bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was the question? We go back to the question, but. Uh, if you think that someone else can run your business better than you, then been there, done that. Yeah. What makes you think that? No, okay, right. What yeah, was the question? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just way too much of a screw. How do you know um, when somebody else can do your business better than you can? Sitting on the beach. What was the yeah. question? Sir? I mean, the question's a bit strange, but basically, like, at what point do you decide, right, yeah. that someone else should step into the business? And take over from what you're because doing. Because they're today. better at it than you. Pretty much. They do yeah. you they do you better than you do. They they yeah. better at, they yeah. do business that you want to do better than you they do. They do your yeah. company yeah. better yeah. than you. They're they, better than you. That's they deliver the your idea. <laughs> Stu. <laughs> deliver uh, well, it. Qu- Stu, the question was what business do you think somebody would do your business better than you? The answer is oh, at the point where they're better than you. Is he asking the question? Sorry, he didn't he didn't know what So Graham great great. is like not allowed to answer this question. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> As somebody who's actually done this, I give my business to somebody else. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate the wonder that is Safina Smith, who took over my business from me, although she didn't get the job in the end because of all sorts of nonsense. But knowing somebody else can do your business better is when they come in and they tell you all the things that you're doing wrong. No, not that did you're she, doing wrong. Did she do the, that? The shit that you're not willing to admit to yourself. Did she ah. She give you feedback on that? Oh, before? fuck yeah. She's yeah. brilliant. That's more the kind of answer I was expecting. Not just so, in the room. Well, that's an epic answer. <laughs> so, Safina yeah. basically, in the true sense of the world, and I've been fucking bastardized in the start world, she humbled me by making me realize that she understood what I was trying to do, but took all the ego away from it. And she said, this is what you want to do, and this is how you do it. And I went, do you know what? It's way fucking better if you just do it without me trying yeah. to get in the way. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's so I gave it to her for six months, and for whatever reason, somebody else decided that she wasn't the person to run it, but she was the person to run it. Why did somebody else decide? I'm not going to go there. Not no. my, not my call. I didn't no. make that decision. I would say you. It's a rare point in life, work wise, that you find that person satisfying yeah. when somebody somebody knows what you're trying to do, and they they say this, and you go, "Yes, thank you." It's just beautiful. It's a moment. My, like, uh, so I've just hired my first employee and he's a wee bit like that. So far, he's only been there a week and a half. <laughs> no pressure then. <laughs> right, but, no, no, no. But, um, so far, he's been like that. Watching. Yeah. Go 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 name. Yeah, so his name is uh, Maher Asiri. Go on, uh, right. Maher Asiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Mate, so, um, as soon as he stepped in from like day one, he's like, ah, 
no nah, man like you want to do this and you want to do that yeah, why like because that. of this opinions. because of that and it's like he knows what he's doing and he knows why he's doing it and it's super fucking that. cool to him yeah, and he knows exactly how to talk to me already Those people. he seems to have like understood yeah. how to talk to me very quickly and I don't know what it is but there's just that's magic click. it's like oh okay so I can I can so I can offload this now and I've got a lot more trust than I thought I would have as long as he doesn't abuse that that's a lifetime of career but my old man and his business partner would call that focused discretionary effort I like that FDE yeah he's super focused as well yeah it's it's like he's proactive my old man is consultant proactive initiative yeah but it's like uh, I give a fuck even though I don't have to. Yes. I make an yeah. effort That's even fucking though I don't have to. And it's focused in a way that is congruent. We used to celebrate that. Congruent. We used to celebrate that. Dude, you're coming out with all the words. Congruent. Yeah, yeah we used to celebrate that. Because th- those guys, they don't have to, but they do. Yeah. And they just fucking they, do. They and do, that right? is yeah. the best. A, they do. They B, do. they care. B, you know they the, do think something, right? Like, and they're like not distracted by our egos. Yeah, exactly. Like not distracted by your ego. Like, they're not overwhelmed. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. they actually, whether it's a, a social fucking def- defect or not, <laughs> they, they they decide that they don't, they're not impressed by your shit. Yeah. And but they'll this, just get on with it. But they buy into the vision that you created, Correct. which is important. They buy in, they, get, they move forward. Yeah. Did you ever watch them? Um, I mean, I guess you might have watched Silicon Valley. It's a thing. Yeah, right. What do you so, mean? What's Silicon Valley? What is that? The show. greatest show it's, ever. It's a TV <laughs> show about Silicon Valley. It is Who um, show with a name what, like that? Better than the grind. So, um, do you remember the guy? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> timing oh is everything. Well, going down. it depends on what window of time you're looking. At. <laughs> so, do you remember that guy time that they eventually hire? Judge, right. So John, then you walk up. Be our judge. So then they walk up to his booth in like the startup office. Like the whole startup has evacuated the whole building. And then he's the one that's still sitting there, like typing away on his laptop. And he turns around and he's basically, you know, it's like a negotiation thing between him and them. It's like uh, the one guy, like he, like so, like he eventually messes everything <laughs> up, right? But the guy that's uh, that they, oh shit, that, I can't remember the season. I think it's like season one, season two. Really doesn't you matter. Really doesn't doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't bloody like, watch it, mate. Carry um, on. Yeah, What's the point? Uh, the point is, is that, um, that yeah. I don't. I don't really have a point. So the goodbye, mate. <laughs> Next. But, uh, I think. I think it's a beautiful moment. Those people that don't need to give a fuck but do. Yeah. And that's yeah. the way to we'll celebrate those people. They're not necessarily entrepreneurs like ourselves, but they they exist in our world. I'll and without them, we'll be fucked. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, in that context, um, graduates and, yeah. and junior or new staff. Yes. With the right energy. Yeah, attitude and the good oh, way of yeah. questioning they are see the, the right intern they honestly like oh they're fucking mm, awesome magic. they are the fucking, fucking awesome. people yeah. Which, yeah which will lift you beyond so all of us have had that person yes oh my, yeah yeah see I rest- my first employee was such so Tayu Lam was her name and she I'm making a paper airplane now this gold star I'm sending it Amazing. your way <laughs> <laughs> didn't quite fly but yeah no <laughs> Totally with That's you. Why I'm not the young folks that come in, stuff. take <laughs> take your vision and just distill it down into its perfection yeah. of yeah. this. And you no, go, it was. That. And I was like, yeah, we had uh, interns when uh, when I was working as an electronics engineer at Pirate Three D, like another um, um, little moment to pimp the here. brand there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> Um, so the company doesn't exist anymore. Uh, mm-hmm. But they yeah, there were a three D printing startup here in Singapore. Did, did you shatter it? <laughs> uh, uh, I think uh, I think you the founders did. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, circularity, I mean, like, John. Good yeah, I mean, move. The founders aren't doing it anymore, but um, yeah, like, we had like three or four interns that were like that. Oh my god, if it wasn't for you guys, it would be amazing. Yeah. Well, you know what? You, we've done two and a half hours. We have. Right? We've done. Yeah. Uh, Barrett's actually uh, falling asleep uh, at the uh, desk. Is that <laughs> enough? Have we done enough? I think we're just halfway I'm through. But you Barrett. know what? I, I've got one of those those guys. Barrett's saying, rolling. He's, he's just going. Whatever. He doesn't need to give nothing. a fuck, but he's here. This is he's nothing. doing it. He's, he's here, man. It's nice to have you. Barat. Respect to Barat. See you, man. Respect to Barat. We love that, Down. man. Give the man some credit. He's here. Every and night. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's your legend. Does he have to listen to you every night? <laughs> <laughs> he does, unfortunately. Absolutely, unfortunately. Yeah. How do you feel, Barat, about that? Yeah. Listen to him every day. Just <laughs> no answer in mime. No, just pass him the mime. Do it. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. He suffers. He suffers me. Yeah. It's a beautiful. It's to be very, fu- he suffers all of I us. I want to keep my regularly. job, so no comment. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna give Barat a gold star for g- that. Give answer. the man some respect. Yeah, man. Thank you. Barat. Thank you, Barat. Yeah. No. 
Well he, done, brother. He's gold, three. man. Give, give him a gold star. Uh, if you anybody's know, listened this long in the audience, I give them a gold star. Yeah, I give them a gold star. <laughs> a, well, I should probably start giving his direction. Quite, I have to say, week, week one when Barrett was working in the business and he came in, I think it was on Thursday, and he started on a Monday, and he came in and um, we were putting up the stuff, all the, the foam tiles in the office, and he came in on Thursday morning and said, I'd been down to, what was the store that you went to? I can't remember. The, the hardware store, and he said, Without asking me for permission or without asking me for money, he went and bought some like those double sticky, double sided sticky spongy things. Crazy investment. Yeah. Uh, uh, VHB tip. Yeah. yeah, but you know, like $5, $10, no big deal. Pro right? fucking active. Proactive, man, to the fucking core. And he did that without any ask, right. asking me for it. So, you know what I mean? Small, they're, they're the people who fucking make get businesses shit. Work. Absolutely, Done. absolutely. Because yeah. they, the, it's the big image. Because like they're focusing on the details that the you details, can't. The you small can, details. You just can't sway. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, you've you've, got, you've got drivers and you've got passengers. Yeah. Oh, and any and any oh, one of those people could be a fucking driver That's if they hard. choose to be a driver. Right. But you get yeah, people I'm not who, sure about him driving the fucking car, but uh, <laughs> well, I, I've looked at what he's done tonight. And I'm pretty sure he's, he's fucking, done all right, man. He's, he's up front. Right. Yeah. He's, 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 he's up front. He's up front. If you're going to choose a night out with seat. food, also Barrett is knowing his shit. He knows. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I think we're done. I think we're the, done. We've done two and a half hours. That Thank you, everybody, epic. for doing the grind tonight. We've done. A, an a, we've, done a, we've done a monster man we have and um, we've covered Fucking all a. elements of entrepreneurship do Thank it again so in much. one month we will be that's why the special element of doing it every month we'll be back the last can, Thursday of every month can I put out what seems like an incredibly annoying statement but Really, if any ladies are listening in that want to be on the show, please come in. You're still on single, women so on the well. Fucking show. <laughs> that is, I fucking I re up that. Re up diversity is fucking important. We do. Intellectually and otherwise. This, this is are not. We're not diverse. This is not a well, middle aged we man a, show. We had a little fucking stash on the first one. So I, I'm like, we know some people. Please. We can make this happen. <laughs> Gotta yeah. get some All female right. perspectives on we'll, the show. We'll make it happen. Gotta do it. Not, not through choice. I will even give up my spot on the show. <laughs> I'm sure they won't do my choice either. <laughs> Stop talking <laughs> for 10 minutes. All right. Well, we're done. We're out. Good Thanks guys. so much. Well Thanks, played. Guys. Cheers. Good times. Cheers.